That's why your second one was fucked up. No, the second one was the one I was looking for. The first one was fucked up. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode. You already know what it is, baby. If you don't, yeah. let me tell you what it is, baby. It's the Smoking <laughs> Permitted Podcast, yeah. baby. We are being here for another episode. This is episode... Oh, I ain't even practiced this time for I... Oh. But oh, it, we... I have no, this number 107? 107. This number 107? Six. This number 106, ain't it? This number 106. <laughs> nah, it's, yep. one, it's 108. It's 108? <laughs> I don't know where the I fuck we are. Welcome time. to another I'm episode eight. of the Smoke Permitted Podcast. Damn, 108. I don't know what number we on, but we on the number. And you know it because you see it when you clicked on the shit you clicked on. It's saying right there if you ain't got it on full screen. Put it on full screen. 256-788-7339. Ask the smokers at gmail.com. Call us and tell us what episode we on. Yeah. Because I don't even know. I still want to say 120 something. All right. Google us. We the only ones. There's only one Smoker Permitted Podcast. When you type it in, it's going to find it for you. It don't matter if you use a phone. That is made by Apple or a phone is made by somebody else. You can use um, an Apple or an Android. It don't matter if you use a computer. It don't matter. Hey, my if car you use... radio say Android now. <laughs> I got a car radio in the red car now. It be say Android. I'm sorry, I interrupted. Because it's you. an operating system, yeah, I'm just not saying. a phone. It's a phone too, though. It's not. That's the whole it, point. It you just prove it by it. I can call somebody to own it. <laughs> It's a phone. It's not a SIM card in it. It is too. What you mean? Absolutely. <laughs> they only they use the, the other thing, not the SIM card technology. My my radio has a SIM, a little bit of SIM card. Oh, that's weird. I ain't that never seen that before. Yeah, like you could make phone calls from that bitch. Yeah, I can make phone calls without a phone. Oh, like yeah, the ones like that got Wi Fi in it. Yeah, shit. it's online. Uh, yeah. Because uh, it's the, an Android. You glued your other tablet in <laughs> No, because it's an Android. <laughs> Cause it's, it's a phone. <laughs> all right, I guess I, I ain't really get, but all right, yeah, for sure. Uh, thank y'all for joining us. Uh, this is Smoke Permitted Podcast. I am Bob Jacquez. Kato broke his mic stand. With fucking mic. We got off white mic in the building. Get yeah. In this bitch. Okay, then I got it, man. And to my right is the one and only honorable Reverend. Kato I Jackson. thought you had already. How y'all doing, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of Smoke Permitted Podcast. I'm happy you could join us. I'm happy you got to see me. For sure. I'm happy y'all got to see him. Because everybody don't get this privilege. You should feel special. You should feel special about this moment. You is special. Take shit. it in. Relish it. Enjoy it. Dwell shit. in it. Put it in a memory bank that you access frequently so that you can know how much you care about the moment that you now, were you, in right now. You see how you feel right now? You see it? I live with this shit every day. <sighs> every goddamn day. Heavy. I'm Heavy just is saying. the head that wears the crown. Or the fitted head. Or the fitted head. Especially if it's an eight. That could be your crown. You didn't have to tell them all that. It was cool. I don't know. I'm just saying it's heavier. Yeah. It's more material. I guess technically it will be heavier. Just Unless saying. they shaved in some parts to make it pass some kind of inspection. So I did. Mean, they some they holes. It. There ain't no holes like that. I oh. already know. I fuck with them. They fuck with me. Okay. No, yeah. ain't never, nobody ever turned their back. Nah, they don't fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> they don't fuck with me. If what I ain't got them $46. Like, what I do this week? I ain't really had shit happen. This, yeah, no, no. I guess it ain't happened to me. I saw some shit this week. And it... I guess it it amazed me for real, but I don't know why I'm so amazed at it. So, okay. I went to Atlanta twice. Yeah, you don't get amazed often. I went to Atlanta twice this week, back to back, two days. So, first time on the way there, I'm in Scottsboro, Alabama. And I noticed a man walking with a big-ass sign. Looked like he painted it. It said, 911 is a joke. All right. That's what's up. Next day, no, that was that morning on the way to Atlanta. I, I see him right then. On the way back from Atlanta, I see him again further down the road, going towards Atlanta, going in that direction or whatever. Okay. All right. Next day, I go to Atlanta, same way. I see him again that morning. 
This motherfucker's getting. I I don't know how the fuck he walking so fast, goddamn it. But he going way further than I'm. I, I feel like he should be able to walk for real. So he didn't stop overnight. He, two nights now though. <laughs> so yeah, I'm coming back, and this motherfucker is walking down the on ramp to the interstate right outside Atlanta. That. So I didn't watch this motherfucker in two days. I don't know where he started. I saw him in Scottsboro. <laughs> He walked from Scottsboro, Alabama to Atlanta, Georgia Dang. in two goddamn days, all the time holding a big ass sign. I mean, well, a painting sign, whatever, like at least four feet tall. This is 911. It's a joke. Yeah, that, that amazed me this week. Wow. That motherfucker walked walk from Scottsboro to Atlanta in two days? That's a long ass fucking walk. Jeez. That'll take me at least a week. Right. At least a week. What? Shit, all right. That's wow. Three hour drive. I... Shit, all right. Man. That's all I did this week, though. I saw this shit and I was flabbergasted. Shout out to him because 911 is a joke. Flavor Flayton them said it first. Why is it a joke? Because it's some bullshit. 911 ain't going to fucking help you. In most situations, you dial 911. Hmm. They only going to get there to clean up whatever the fuck happened. Oh. No? <laughs> They're not going to save you most. If you in danger, danger, 911 ain't going to get there in time to save you. It depends on what your danger, danger is. Danger, danger is like... You and how die. far away you live. Yeah, you fit die right now. <laughs> and where you live. Yeah. And yeah, it's a joke. And then if you get there and you black, you better not have no gun no matter what side you on, goddamn. Matter of fact, mm. your hands better be in the air and you better they don't be, be strapped down. in the ambulance. She better not be. They don't be strapped in there. One of them gonna shoot you. One of them gonna shoot you. They don't be strapped in the ambulance. I don't think. <laughs> no, they don't, but one of them gonna shoot you. No, nah, I mean I, I hear you. Yeah, if somebody shooting at you, 911 ain't gonna do shit. Somebody in your house, 911 ain't gonna help you. If you in the media, how long danger, it takes. I mean, shit, if somebody in your because house wanting to do something, I'm saying it's, it's times where people are being saved is a long from time. like a, a heart attack or yeah, a that's what I'm saying. A heart attack, maybe, yeah. Like, but that's but still if somebody trying to do something time, to you, how much time it is? Somebody trying to do something to you, nine one one probably ain't gonna help you. They gonna get there to clean up whatever the fuck just been done for you. You know, that's not your best bet is to call nine one one in the midst where you need to be protecting yourself. No. And now some then neighborhoods yes, they don't even fucking you. come to. Yeah. You call the police, them bitches will never fucking show up. I'm more mad about Steakout doing that than 911. I'm, yeah, you right, because I want Steakout to show up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if y'all show up. They right and looking for me. Yeah, Shit. Geez. Fucking stay. Come on. This ain't even dark yet. Just bring them fucking food. Damn. But if you planning on robbing Steakout and they show up at the same time 911 showed up, then she get weird. But that's another time when yeah. you got to talk about that. I was like, Mike, how was your week, man? What you got going on this week? Oh, uh, man, I, I ain't really do much, man. I just uh, still like last week, man. Just uh, doing a few little business affairs, uh, some sessions and and uh, some creative things that I'm working on. And uh, we had an episode of uh, our Mentality Podcast. We did okay, well. then. That's about it. Y'all uh, go check this shit out. Tell them where to find this shit at. Uh, but we ain't got it up yet. We still in the process of complete. We got the first. Gun. We got the first package done. We got four episodes, five done now, and and uh, we're gonna release it at the end of this month or the beginning of December. Okay, then y'all wait for time. this shit. So, this yeah. shit coming out. <laughs> so, this yeah. shit coming so. But my, my week was good though. You know what I mean? Uh, no complaints. Um, no big issues. Kind of boring. What some say was boring. Some say normal. Whatever. <laughs> hey, boring is good. Boring is good. You ain't had to I walk that Atlanta. <laughs> nah, I wasn't walking to no oh, hey. <laughs> Damn. I bet it was some good homeless pussy in Atlanta. I bet it is. Like, I don't know. Can homeless pussy be good? How would why would he make that walk? I think it was I think it was a statement but I think the sign had something we was going somewhere with that fucking sign. He's gonna throw it down That bitch was big as hell. Now, that was hand painted. <laughs> He did that. I can't tell if it was paint or bubble gum. Paint it with bubble gum? I, can't, I ain't get close enough, but the paint look real textured. <laughs> so I was like, that could be paint or that could be a bunch of gum. <laughs> but either way, I get the message. Now, what is a joke? Word. It was a black dude? 
It wasn't. It was a white dude. Right. It was a younger looking white dude, but you could tell he had been walking for a while, baby. Oh, a was dirty. it a, a, a Mountain Dew? <laughs> One of I don't Mountain know. Dew if, white folks. It could have been. It could have been. It could have once once the beard get real long, it's hard to to differentiate. Differentiate? Yeah. It tell the difference, hell. So I don't know. He was he had to have something to walk on goddamn there for two days. He was yeah. on something. Right. Could have been some Mountain Dews. <laughs> the book bag was big as hell. He had something in that bitch. I ain't have um I didn't have nothing too crazy happen this week. Um I'm still trying to figure out what these folks at work doing with my shit. What you mean? But, you know what I'm saying? I told they you. They, with your money. It, it, it seemed like it. Man, I, had I, to, I had to pull up at the office finally. We had to have a meeting anyway. Man, I, I, I was like, all right, I'm going to catch somebody. Got to have a discussion. <laughs> got to catch damn. somebody in the middle, <laughs> the middle, of, the middle of the meeting, chin. beginning of it after it's some, some, somewhere got there. So. Did you get some straightening? Yeah, after I, I got some, a little, not as much as I wanted, but I ain't had the time to, to really, I had to get back do some other shit but I did get a little bit of understanding from there so I feel a little bit better about that for now so we'll okay, see how that yeah. plays out right. but um, Let me one of the days I was riding right I don't know how to do that um, one of the days I was riding did you say you don't know how to do that <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> you slid that shit too. in we there too. Skate. Yeah. Even skate on yeah. it. Oh, I can't believe this nigga ain't kissing. Hell no. No, but one of the days I was riding, goddamn, it was a deer, right? And I, you know, it's been a couple of times. You, I've had you some had deer. some, some, some like, standoffs with some deers lately. This one ain't trying to jump on top of the truck at least, but it was on the side of the road, right? Okay. So I slowed down enough, way more than enough to almost stop and let him, you know, Hell, like make a decision. Hell, bitch, if you gonna do what you did, yeah, so it ain't gonna I, affect me too much when you do what you do. So now I'm like, all right, beep, beep, bitch. Beep, beep. Okay. Motherfucker still ain't make a decision. So I started creeping. This nigga started creeping. Yeah. Whatever you do, I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so I speed up a little bit more. He went fast. Yeah. Like, yeah, he just on the side of the road, but I hadn't passed or got that close. Like it was still, I was still far away at first when I honked the horn and shit. By the time I got like close about half the distance, this nigga moved over some on the side of the road. Like, Smell like bitch hit me, yeah. Now nah, like gone past me. Oh, okay, all right. Like, yeah, he wasn't in the road. He was on the side of the road, running along the side of the road. Oh, he trying to race? Yeah. Oh like, shit, <laughs> he want to race. <laughs> Let me race this thing. I ain't been running in a long time with deer. It was the weirdest shit. All the deer I seen, I ain't never seen a deer like yeah, trying I ain't to just never, be like, all right, yeah, I okay, I'm gonna move over something for you to go on and go by me. I ain't like, bitch, you can go shit. Then of course, soon as I was finna be like, all right, fuck it. This motherfucker be on yeah, right across the front of my shit. Like, they be so playing I had, with I be you. Had, yeah, I be having I, I be like see folks, if folks roll, if somebody could ride with me in, in this truck one day and see some of the shit that be happening. I think it'd be other animals just inside the woods where you can't see. And this one that's out here, like whether it's a squirrel running across the street, a raccoon. And they cheering them It's a deer. And, yeah, they didn't, yeah. I bet you won't go goddamn run, run, see who can get closest to the truck without getting hit. That might be what happened with this was because I ain't. I got a new respect for was now because I didn't know how strong they were. Oh, yeah. I ain't know. I like. I knew they were strong. I just stepped on a few and them bitches still be like, like, nah, bitch. Yeah, but I ain't know how strong they were. <laughs> no. so I, I got into the other. When it be windy, when it be these windy, randy, random sunny days like this, it's some people's house I go to and, and it just be wasp everywhere. Just, they don't got nowhere to live. They don't got nothing to do. They just out here. Like niggas at the stove. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just outside. Goddamn. What you finna do? All kind of different. Yeah. Lay here for a little bit. Fly the nigga head. Like, <laughs> like it's fucked up. They just be out there. Ugh, so wasp. it's one of these days and I'm like get shit done. Hop back in the truck. I'm gonna pull off and it's a wasp on my hood. I'm like hell to the nah. Oh well fucked up for you buddy. You better fly off. That bitch shit. That bitch been all long. All day. <laughs> I topped out probably at 55, 56. Shit, During the trip right. to the next place. Shit, all right. Shit. Nah, I'm pulling over. I, motherfucker I, didn't let go. I stopped a couple times at lights and everything. He did. Yeah. Motherfucker held. Oh, yeah. he, by, that, by, by that second stop, he was curled up like this is killing me. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker. But he didn't let go. I ain't know, I ain't know bro. A bitch will hold on hey, forever. I'll be I, on the interstate. I, I had one time a, a hummingbird 
Oh, uh, damn. inside my car, but I didn't know I had the windows down. Inside but it, the car, it was it was right here next to me. Jeez. I'm talking about right here, and I didn't know what it was at first until it matched. Yeah, because I didn't know like it, a big ass beat. I didn't see it fly in or where it came Hell from. No. Nothing. But yeah, man, it scared the shit out of me, bro. I pulled right over though. Man, okay, uh, got I'm out. I don't know. I, <laughs> Yeah, I hey, might want to pull it over yeah. too, goddamn it. Yeah, you for the pick my ear drums out. I don't <laughs> yeah, know why what? that's the fear I have of no, a hummingbird stuck in the car with you. It's going to stick all the way in your yeah, ear, yeah, goddamn it. That look like a drum. fucking fly. I will fuck hey, you. Hey, I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. I had a bird. They sure go for your earrings. Do they? Damn. Hell yeah. Fuck a bird. Had a conure for a while. I trained it with weed seeds. Okay, then. They like weed seeds. <laughs> And I trained it, and it would come see. here. Yeah, and one time it got loose in Twinkenham. No, <laughs> old spark. That's <laughs> fucked up. Did Fucking you get with it back? Yeah, because it knew what I meant. And it would come. I had trained okay, it, but I was yeah. like, "Yeah, this shit work, motherfucker." I had to get it up off a of root. Yeah, anyway, my, my that's partner all. had a bird growing up, <laughs> and he opened the door for me one time, and it bitch flew out. <laughs> And they never got their fucking bird back. And I feel I don't bad. I know how like, we like, did. Damn. That's fucked up. Because it flew around in the sky for like for a little bit. It was like, and when we had to, like, I was looking for this bird. It was in the tree over here. It was over here. It was over here. But it was, it wasn't my bird. No. I oh, so you it had to I didn't have, yeah, I had to get it back. Like, you can't just I, I let your bird go on. I, yeah. I tell you, <laughs> yeah, I, could, I tell yeah. you one of, one of the most scary moments in my life. I can still, probably top five, man. I ain't going to lie, man. I've been scared. Was uh was going to visit uh somebody, and they had two trees in the yard, and they had I guess it must have been nest in both trees, and I, you had to walk through it. Yeah. So they were just flying back and forth. It seemed about like three birds. Man. Just flying back and forth. Hell no. You know what I'm saying? Tweeting and like, like this close, you could hear and feel the wind come by. Oh yeah. You I'm walk like, through there, they gonna fuck with yeah, you. Yeah, them swallows out in the country be like that. Yeah, and they it was in the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. You, you it was out there in harvest. Out country harvest. birds don't play. Yeah. They fuck your ass up. All right, um, Birdman. <laughs> uh, is that what we going with, Birdman, Birdman. and Drewski? Mike Tyson. No, I guess okay. so. No, I don't playing. think this shit I'm real. Playing. Me either. You seen this shit uh, with, no. with Birdman? And them called Drewski. He he a comedian. He caught him in the studio and snatched the chain and shit. Yeah, I think I seen this more like more possibly staged and. That's what I think. From what too. I, from my perspective, I think it was more staged and well, real. Like, yeah. That shit, but hey, it they got, they it might have, though. They yeah. got some views, yeah. Bum B said he gonna help get the train back. I'll bum B in the night. <laughs> bum B in the night, too. <laughs> Y'all quit playing. We know that <laughs> shit ain't real. <laughs> what's going on? What, what, what if baby, I ain't gonna say it. What if baby Bum B really be as a beef behind the shot? Man. <laughs> That you know it gotta be the, fake Cause Bum B ain't finna be in no Hey place. that's what I was Bum, Bum B ain't gonna be the too, last nigga yeah. That's He's gonna go down He's talking about him yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying Yeah it might be though But I don't think so Bum B gonna be the last nigga to, Especially to publicly Just make Speak a statement up, yeah. Like no, nah, I'm gonna get your chain back dude <laughs> Get the fuck out of here <laughs> Man I hope it's real No I don't um, What y'all wanna start with fellas Um, I guess she yeah, Top of the board can step dad to whoop that ass. <laughs> <laughs> There's some shit going around the internet. What happened now? Um, it's just some shit going around. Hell, figure we talk about it too. Um, people want to know. Can a step daddy whoop the child they raising without consulting the biological father? What are y'all opinions on this subject? Mm. Mm. I, I think, what are y'all I think, opinions on I this think it's got to be a discussion. I mean, uh, I, um, I, I think, and I don't think you could just go haul off it and, and uh, you know, saying whoop the child. You know what I mean? I, yeah, I don't think so. I think it's got to be a discussion. I guess it first it depends on how involved both of them are for real. If the stepdad is like really a stepdad, this nigga live here and he paying for school clothes and shit. Is the daddy fucking? Pay for is he participating for real? If if everybody here, then you gotta have a discussion, somewhat for real, for real. <laughs> but if if I live in this house and I'm buying these kids clothes and shit and and whatever, then yeah, I feel like if I feel like I need to whoop these kids' ass, I'm probably gonna whoop these kids' I'm ass. All the kids, Man, ass. I'm just saying, kicking them up and down the hallway. What's happening? What's happening, cat? <laughs> No, <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm the daddy here. Shit. <laughs> what if it's cause? Uh, what if it's cause 
the other one locked up. The daddy locked up? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, nah, fuck that nigga. Definitely whooping ass. I'm just saying. I, I'm not going to be one to whoop no kid's ass for yeah, real, for nope. real. Whooping ass, but kicking him up if, and down the hallway. If I feel the need, like, nah, I, I got to whoop your ass. I'm not going to be like, yeah, let me call your daddy. <laughs> you going to call them afterwards? <laughs> My baby. Tell them who won what round. If, if, that's, if, he, if he around, then I might call him afterwards. <laughs> baby. He showed up in the second round, but you know what I'm saying? I had to finish him after that. Are we fighting? No, <laughs> <laughs> we got a fight. I'm not calling. I'm calling reinforcements. <laughs> so, so what age do you discipline to? She, I guess that depends too. It, it really depends on the maturity of your kids, for real. But she, I mean, you discipline until they fucking forever, for real, for real. But I guess ass whoopings probably need to stop around fucking. I don't know, eleven, twelve, maybe. <laughs> Unless you really doing some crazy shit for real. I couldn't imagine 13 getting no ass whooping. Hmm. My daddy gave me a whooping when I was 16 and like we squared up. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't, I don't know. But it depends on how mature the kids is too, for real. Because yeah. some kids are 16, there's a lot less mature than some other kids are 16 for real. Yeah, that's and they people. might do some some crazy shit and some in bad sixteen. Ass five and six, and so you know what I'm saying. Y'all I was kids mature too. though. See, I was I was <laughs> mature. See, yeah. I was mature early. Nah, yeah, I, I went to um, I I saw a badass kid this past weekend. Badass kid. Ooh, ooh. You take a village. You should have whooped his ass. No, we <laughs> take a village guy. Nah. <laughs> so you just go around with bad kids. Hey, hey whoop your ass, guy. Yeah. <laughs> now take me to your parents. Now take me to your daddy, guy. <laughs> yeah, I whoop this little ass. He ran you throwing right, dirt on hey. people and shit. He kicked the little girl he in the shit. He called me a bitch and spit on. Yeah, me. I, I whooped his, his ass. ass. <laughs> I whooped his ass. <laughs> <laughs> you want to use my belt so you can do hey, it again? You need to, obviously, you need <laughs> this more than I do. <laughs> if he ain't acting the right, call me on Tuesdays, bitch. I'm out maybe too. maybe if, maybe if I make it to like eighty something, oh, I might. Shit. I'm whooping their ass. Yeah, I might. Man, do, I, I might whoop some ass and just have to deal with whatever Fuck happens. It. Hey, what you gonna push our old man down? Absolutely. Did you whoop my son, bitch? Yeah. Um. Um. I don't know. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if I, I'm the best person to speak on this. This is that type of stuff that the internet does to to date people who aren't qualified to have these conversations. You got kids. You qualified. You you dated bitches who got kids that ain't yours. So re, so you reverse qualified. it then which by her work, whooping your kids that yeah, what if, if it wasn't your y'all's kids? kids. So what what are the stipulations on that? Or is there, or can she just whoop it? I'm sure you <laughs> dated a motherfucker with some kids that ain't yours, no? It happened before. Yeah. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> All these bitches got kids. <laughs> Shit. That's a fair bitch. Shit. I would take that every time. <laughs> Shit. What'd you say, Mike? I miss I miss what you so said. So let's say, all right, let's say uh flip it then. So not from our point of view, but like let's say you have some kids that are yours and y'all don't have them together, then how how does it go? Like, and she just go off on Holland and whoop, whoop your kids. You know what I mean? And like, who oh, the person I'm dating? Yeah. Fuck no. You know, if we dating, they know. Oh, it, or, yeah. or, or okay, what about together then? Like we saying living and together. What if you, you married and she whoop your kid? We I think you got to have a conversation with them too, at least though. Like the people who live in the well, step yeah, if parent you get married, the you got, if you ain't had no conversation, yeah, you get the step married, parent and the parent got to yeah. discuss it at least. Yeah. Here's here's what I don't understand about this. What what is the expectation when the two parties don't agree? Yeah, because that might happen. Most of the time, I feel like yeah, my motherfucker gonna be like, nah, nigga, you can't whip my kids. And then they're going to be like, nah, nigga, I live here. I'm going to whoop your kids. They bag. <laughs> then, then what? Then somebody got like, who can fight the best? <laughs> see, see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? And that's why I'd rather not speak on these type of things. But was, it really does go that way too much. Yeah. And 
I think I, th- I don't like to lose, so we go. I, I man, think, okay. I think that's part of the. You just shot my motherfucking husband. <laughs> hey, the nigga husband. shouldn't have whooped my kid. You talking about man. that nigga that was beating on? Man, all right. I, I think it. I think it's a part of the relationship, almost like some Joe Smith stuff. Uh, it's part of it. Dang, you you know, ain't. you know, she had some bad kids before you got with her, moved in or whatever. Then did too. You already know we need had a discussion Don't before. I mean, real conversation before it even gets to that point. So you know what I mean? Like I said, like y'all, like you said, there's got to be some expectations of we don't agree what happened. You know what? What's that look like? And if you're not willing to put up with it, then it's probably don't put yourself in that situation. I'm a, yeah, but you don't get no say in there, really. No, That's I'm, what's fucked up. We, That's why it's a we stupid the, conversation we to have. The best because advice give was ever. You don't get no say in that. I'm gonna give a motherfucker this advice, the best advice you could ever have. If you meet a bitch and you like that bitch, and I don't care how much you like that bitch, if you go to that bitch house and that bitch kid's bad, don't like that bitch no more. Yeah, no. Don't like that bitch no more. (laughs) For sure. I'm just trying to say you. (laughs) No, for sure. For sure, for sure. That's the only way out of it. It's like the best, the safest sex is no sex. It's like that type shit. Like, yeah, if the kids is bad, Turn around and leave. Don't do it. But now sometimes a not bad kid might need his head whoop. He ain't got to be bad if he stole the car when he was 13 one time. He might not have been that bad. But that bitch got his head fucked up. Now he stole the car. God, he, he might need his ass whoop now, God damn it. Mm. No? I don't, I don't think if the parties don't agree that it should be done. And I, But I know that it could be done. So it's not really – that's why – I don't really know how to speak on it. But now nah, that's what you feel. So if, if you tell that motherfucker, like, yeah, nah, I don't want my kids, the nigga don't want my kids. Yeah, if I say that to somebody, then yeah, you better listen to me. That's mm-hmm. how you feel. Shit, everybody got it's, an opinion. Hell. Right, it's not an opinion. I, I seen what I seen. You better fucking listen to me. I, I seen I where know. where she might, you know what I'm saying? I think I think one of the big mistakes when a lot of people try to do it or whoop how the intention of whooping it of, you know, you we, we will never be their father. We can be a role model or somebody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you and, can't and, be and, the and a man to look daddy. up to or somebody, you know what I'm saying, like that to mold. But you I think sometimes when you know we feel like we might pay all the bills or this and that, and then we feel like you know, I had a right. But like you said, if she say or he, he say, don't whoop my child, then, you know, these are things you got to think about. Is this the relationship for me? Yeah. You right about that, yeah. yeah. You shouldn't have been there <laughs> like with them bad-ass kids. Who got the best hands, you know? Yeah. <laughs> that's what it's going to boil down to, that's, for that's real, what, for when real. I, when I see the headline, that's all I, that's all I see is yeah. who, who going to win. Man, what? Yeah. Is you going to fight because that nigga whooped your kids or not? God. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm going down. Man, I'm doing okay. everything. I'm hey, you got to fight. I'm, <laughs> if you tell no. nigga not to whoop your kid, that nigga whoop your kid, and your kid know you told that nigga not to whoop your kid, oh, you man. gotta fight that nigga now. No, yeah. you got to. I just your kid I ain't really, gonna never. That's the other you let that nigga on, whoop me. I start going in my mind. I start going like down this path of horrible things that's gonna happen. He gonna so be. I he just, gonna bring that shit up when he's thirty. Like, yeah, you remember you, the time you told that nigga not to whoop me, and you let him whoop me in the way he drew the. Damn. <laughs> Damn. You go in the nurse home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how old you? you had his kid at? I don't know, goddamn. <laughs> what are you, the nurse at? Age oh, fucked up. <laughs> Sixty years old in the nurse home. He home. fucked up. He fucked up. Bad Kyrie. Diabetes and everything. <laughs> he ain't got no toes. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! We got an update. We need the update noise on the do, 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 do. the news hot off the press. Shit, it that's again. it. Nah, I did it once. Nah, it. The... Update: <laughs> Joe Smith's wife. That's the bitch name now. She don't even yeah. get a name for real. For I didn't real. know she had one. She got one, but I don't know what it is. Joe Smith wife. Joe Smith wife. Y'all remember? She was Joe Smith was upset. Because the bitch had an OnlyFans and didn't tell him. He found out about other means. And that's some wild shit. Yeah. And since it got leaked and she didn't got viral, she didn't went viral, she probably got viral too. Guys. <laughs> she probably got all the viral. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't went viral, she figured she could capitalize on the situation. Bitch, you done gave me the viral. She got all the virals. <laughs> you got to go to the clinic for them, guys. Joe, go to the clinics and get your virals checked, guys. <laughs> they too high. They gave me the viral. Too high. That's wild as fuck. Hey, all yeah. your virals too high. I said, they turned up too high. Got to go get this shit turned down. 
So Joe Smith White figured she could <laughs> capitalize on her, her viral activity mm-hmm. and decided she could be a porn actress now. Okay. Yeah, bang right. bus. Yeah. And I don't... It ain't his fault. So I want to be careful when I describe... <laughs> Yeah, cause you <laughs> the person who they got a picture of on the bus with. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I would just say this: Joe Smith wife to win that bag. <laughs> she done went out bad. She done went out bad. Damn, Joe Smith. I hope you're out of there, bro. I hope you fucking out of there. He can't. Whatever he, whatever he might have come in is her. Have hers. It, He's stuck. I, you you get a bitch half of this shit to get out of there. Oh, get out of there. It don't look like he got a lot. <laughs> when yeah. they fucking, she can't have a half a half for nothing. Shit, she fucking with a half size man. Man, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> she good with her hips. That is true. She know yeah. how to divide. Right. Get that bitch to 14 and get up out of there, Joe. Yeah, yeah get Joe. Get up out of there. Run, Joe, run. Damn, Joe. Yeah. Yeah, that bitch a porn star now. That shit escalated fast. <laughs> oh, you know what? Because I did see she was on some show or interview or podcast or some shit. Um, and she said that her bodies at work don't count. Them, them not bodies. Mm-mm. That's just work. Yeah. Them not bodies. <laughs> yeah, and she like... Was, like, no, no, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I, told yeah. him, I just told him and we had an argument. No. My bodies at work don't count. That shit counts. I was like, wait. Yes. How do you add? That's that? a body, bitch. Fuck that. That shit count. Lots of bodies. Penetration. Let the bodies hit the flow. Penetration one. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you get penetrated, you hit that little clicker. <laughs> Click like the nigga in the club. She count got a Fitbit on. Yeah. She got- <laughs> That's another one. That bitch gonna come on like, bitch, you ain't tired, Jack. You've been clicking for 45 minutes. <laughs> what? Your heart rate is 212, bitch. <laughs> you still alive. <laughs> so, Smell for goddamn. Uh, Get rid of that bitch, bro. Yeah, that's fucked up. Get up yeah. out of there. You should have left that bitch on that bang bus, Joe. Damn, that's wild. That's wild. I mean, what? that might be something she always wanted to do. Maybe. And yeah. now she finally gets to get it off. Like, really, I guess. I, folks might be coming down a little too hard on her. I feel like if Joe didn't know about OnlyFans, Joe definitely didn't know about this shit. Yeah, but nobody should know about none of it. <laughs> it shouldn't be going on if you marry. But if if it is, you should be. Yeah. Joe should know, goddamn. Yeah, Joe should, should, should know. Yeah, Joe should know. Yeah. Everybody else should yeah, know. Yeah, no, everybody else we should. We shouldn't be. all know the picture that you were talking no, about. No, we shouldn't. We shouldn't at all. <laughs> yeah, but picture. we know. How old was Buddy? You can't, that don't work. Like, <laughs> what you mean? That shit don't work. Look, I he don't know. really old, though. Nigga, from 21 to 63. He looked more to the 63. I have no idea. In, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. But I just glanced at it real quick. I was going through, I don't be, you know, I be on the road. I your wife, wow. Yeah, she, or she trying to be, she trying she, her best to do all the while. She, she wild. All the viral. Man, what? <laughs> She wild damn. He Joe. was he was like a life size viral. Put yourself up, to, man. What? <laughs> man, all right. He looked like Corona viral. <laughs> hey, you know we talked earlier about some evolution. Hell, man. Yeah. All right, the evolution, <laughs> man. Man, it's fucked up. Damn. It ain't his fault. Hell, he finna hit your wife. Shit, I guess he did though. Huh? Is that that's At the least dude? People think he did. Yeah, I'm saying is that the dude? She was on the bus. We know what happened on that bus. Guy. I don't know nothing about none of that. <laughs> oh, okay. I know what happened on that bus. <laughs> if your bitch get on that bus, just go on about your business. Man. What they say, focus on you. Guy. She <laughs> can't like just like get some folks for their money without doing nothing salacious. I mean, I don't know how, what kind of game the bitch got and what kind of game the bus driver got. I don't yeah. know how that works. We got to put the picture up on this one. Man, okay, yeah. fuck it. We gonna figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man. We gonna figure it out. We gonna put that bitch up a few times. <laughs> Man. Damn, yeah, Joe so you White. Haven't seen, you haven't seen it. I saw. I saw the picture. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. saw the picture. Yeah, nah, I ain't seen no video. I don't want to see no nah, video. I ain't seen no video. <laughs> I don't want to see that. No, no, I'm good. Man, okay. No. 
Damn, Joe. Snoop Dogg, huh? Get on out of this. Um, Fucking Snoop. He said he giving up the smoke. The internet that went crazy. Yeah. Okay. Everybody, we, we said smoking is permitted. It is. Let me hit my motherfucking pipe again. You don't have to. You don't have to. I really don't think. I don't know. I I feel like this is the marketing scheme for real. I feel like he finna come out with some shit like an edible or some shit. But, I don't know about to say, because if he eating edibles, like it don't matter. You still getting high. Maybe. The bitches don't work for me. Get the right ones. You Shit, know, I've tried right a few. No, I've, I tried the professional ones and the cook ones. Everybody else be high as fuck on them. Mm. And my sister friend had a whole goddamn pan of brownies. Everybody ate a half a brownie like, ooh, yeah, fucking 45 minutes later. I done ate four of these bitches and I ain't shit. <laughs> yeah. That's so weird. I've never, edibles never done it for me either, but. I figured maybe there's some stronger ones I ain't tried before. But. Shit, when I went to Vegas, I said, tomorrow morning, we getting high off edibles. Ain't no breakfast or nothing. My breakfast consisted of edibles. My beverage with the breakfast was edible. Everything I had that morning was fucking edibles. Damn, man. Nothing. That's weird. Wasted like $100. It was upset. You think we have a similar tolerance in some of the drugs that we... Chose. I don't know. So you said that not first. First off, first off, I don't do but two drugs. <laughs> <laughs> no, three. You got to count three. Look at this, this cup right here. Y'all look at the cup. Okay, I guess the alcohol. You go, you go order a cup. Alcohol. I guess to, my shells is tobacco, so I do four drugs. Yeah. I do caffeine too sometimes. Yeah. But yeah, now see some of the drugs we chose just sound wild as hell for real. It, that's that's what you it is. No Mountain Dew. It's what it is. I do some caffeine sometimes. Not a Mountain Dew, though. Not a Mountain Dew. <laughs> yeah, I do weed. Okay. I do. I do alcohol. I do alcohol. I do alcohol. Shit, when I'm here, I do alcohol for real. <laughs> yeah, I do that shit. I do weed. I do, I do alcohol. Weed, I do tobacco sometimes. Well, especially when it's on the blunt. My doctor said, "You know, it's still tobacco, right?" Like, yeah, I know that guy then. Um, right, I do right. caffeine sometimes because I be driving and shit. Hey. Fucking Panera Bread got uh, some shit yeah, called the Tarts Lemonade. And shit. I mean, they, they wasn't ready for it. Yeah, they was already like sick. See, yeah. It was something wrong with their body already. They Bro, shouldn't. Fuck but it's that boy. strong that if your body it needs need a right. medical warning on it, right. like it's that strong. Fuck a Red Bull. Fuck a fucking uh, a coffee. Fuck out. Fuck a Mountain Dew. Espresso double All shot. All this shit. All right. All right. Now I'll be in I'll be in the car like God damn. Charge lemonade. <laughs> I was gonna See? go to sleep a bit in the car, God damn. See? I'm crunk as hell on that. That's how I'll be riding down the road. Folks probably be thinking I'm mad. I'll be in the car trunk, uh crunk. I'll be in the truck. Shit, I'll be in that bitch crunk. shit, all right. But I don't be drinking no charge lemonade. I don't think you should drink that shit, man. I seen you post that shit. I was worried a little bit. I ain't want to sound like a pussy on your post, so I ain't say nothing. I drank that shit. Yeah, I, you was gonna drink it anyway. I, I also knew that. I also knew no matter what I, mean, I said, shit, to it you, ain't you was gonna drink a it. A Red anyway. Bull, a fucking big ass cup of coffee. All right, it ain't that much worse than that. Okay, and it's plant based. Yeah, Word. yeah, plants the ones that we were talking about. We would do. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's healthy for you a little bit. Except the caffeine, tobacco. Mushrooms, yeah, mushrooms, weed, yeah, <laughs> caffeine, yeah, and some alcohol. <laughs> alcohol, yeah. it's all plant based. Yeah, everything's plant based for real, some for sugar. real. Not sugar. all the drugs. Some sugar, sugar's a drug too, goddamn. Yeah, not all the drugs are plant based. Which ones are not? The ones that we don't do. <laughs> <laughs> cocaine come from a leaf. Heroin come it, from now, a plant. Not once it becomes cocaine. Yeah, nah, but it's plant based though. Like it starts as a coca leaf. Everyone thought it's the poppy plant. Yeah, but you could just get high off poppy seeds. The coca leaf too, motherfuckers. They be chewing them bitches. Yeah, they, that's true. Che- yeah, 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 that's true. Then, I'll, then it's then all it's this the shit same. came out the crayon. All of it. I'm not talking about like gasoline and shit. I'm not talking about what they had chemicals to it. You know, I bought some kerosene Pre, and some lighter fluid in that bitch. Battery acid, just smears. <laughs> okay. Battery acid. Not too much. You gonna blow up. You, <laughs> not smoking. <laughs> oh, I don't know what time this dude. He said it's one chemical away from from salt and one chemical away from a bomb. Okay. Or some shit like that. Smoke it. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. After he tries to cook it right. Bitch, just making salt. In a couple of two liters <laughs> while they riding down the road. Yeah, riding down the road. Yeah, all right, The roof going to blow clean off the bitch. Shake and bake. Bitch, ain't no chicken in here. <laughs> Crazy as fuck. Shit, all right. I yeah, not I, them drugs. Not I seen a video on YouTube. On YouTube. Step by step. Motherfucker making meth in the Gatorade bottle, goddamn mm-hmm. Shit, all right. Yeah. Any kind of drug you could just make at home is way too fucking dangerous for real. I'm just saying. You got to have a supply of this shit. It's got to be controlled somewhere. You can't just make it, all right. No. Everything is everything. That's wild. That's way too dangerous. Yeah, so Snoop's not doing no more weed. Man, okay. <laughs> we, I don't know where the fuck we went at, God damn it. Somebody smoked dope down. I don't even think that's I don't even think that's what he meant. That's why he ain't say it. I'm not giving I'm giving up the weed. He said I give up the smoke. Yeah, that's what he said. He's, he's not talking smoking. cryptic and shit. Like, yeah, yeah, all this shit means so. If Snoop would yeah. go stop smoking weed, he'd have been on Instagram on the video or some shit. With his goddamn wife and shit. Like, yeah, no, I ain't smoking weed no more. Yeah. All oh, that shit. This is But shout out Snoop, man. No matter what he doing, because somehow Snoop still just be, hey, it's Snoop. It's Snoop, dog. I hated on Snoop for a long time. I just really didn't like it. It just was like weird the, to me. I didn't, yeah, I didn't like a lot of his I music. I like the personality. I like uh, some of his later music, particularly on the Blue Carpet Treatment. Some the, of them songs. The dog Father or The Last Meal. I can't remember which one. One of them I fuck with. I didn't listen to any of his. Maybe I heard the Dog Father one time, but other than that, I never really listened I think to none the of his shit. Last meal, the last No Limit Al. Yeah, definitely didn't listen. No, No Limit Snoop. No Limit Snoop. Shit. Yeah, I, really, yeah, I never really fuck with Snoop, but hey, man, you gotta give it up, man. Absolutely, Snoop, Snoop a legend Snoop in this motherfucker. Pop, pop Snoop, shit. I'm not calling him. That. Already, I'm shit. I'm not calling pop, him. Pop, you shouldn't either. I think I should. Fine, it's fine. Yeah. I can't stop you. I just don't think you should. I'm white Mike. You know how motherfuckers say "ump." It's like a sign of, of respect. Not really. You don't think so? No. I th- I think it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be an older motherfucker you look up to, like a uncle for real. No, like just a what you call uncle. somebody that's old to you. Yeah. See, now they don't, that mean they ain't using it right. It's supposed to be like like this big uncle right there, goddamn. Yeah, no, nah, not ain't just an old that. nigga, goddamn. Yeah, no, nah, it's just. But this, old. so I figured, pop, pop is a step up that's from my up, goddamn. That's like three steps. Yeah, that's that. that yeah, it's like three steps. How, how old is Snoop? Shit, the nigga pop, pop ain't in jail. Yes. I don't know how old he is, but the nigga <laughs> pop, pop ain't in jail. He gotta be like seventy something. Seventy. <laughs> I think he's pushing 60. Yeah, man. he might be close to 60. Yeah, 78. He ain't 70. Snoop, I don't say hell. Hey, hey, I've been watching Snoop, though, because I know, because the doctor said we wasn't really that bad to smoke for real as long as she ain't got it in tobacco. But Snoop smoke a lot of, no, on some real shit. My doctor told me Snoop this 52. shit. 52. Yeah. 52. That, that might, it might be, yeah. Snoop ain't 70. Well, just think about well, the amounts he, he didn't smoke pop daily, pop though. That's why I, I like, watch. Like, he didn't smoke so much. Because I know I smoke a lot of weed, but I don't smoke as much as Snoop do. <laughs> so if Snoop don't get sick from the weed, I feel like I'm straight, guys, man. <laughs> so if he quit now, then he come out like, ah, yeah, so um, I'm fucked up because of the weed. I'm going to be like, ah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, because no. that's how my... Snoop is my weed barometer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I hope nah, it ain't Chicha fucked Chong up. Ain't, ain't nothing happening to them. It's still out there. Man, I'm, you ain't supposed to say his name on here. Hey, man, I'm just saying. We talking about weed. We yeah, not talking about racists. Fuck you. We ain't supposed to say his name. We should have bleeped that shit out. Hey, Snoop like him. It's a full cycle. I don't know if Snoop heard the song. Maybe not. I bet he didn't. He probably don't care, though. He probably don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Nigga, I don't want to hear this shit. <laughs> um, maybe you'll tell me what y'all did here since I didn't get a chance to listen to it. Well, I could have listened to it. I decided not to. But uh, maybe now you'll tell me Three all sticks. the secretive. Oh, yeah, no, nah, I didn't listen to the shit. See, fuck you, <laughs> Fuck you. I knew you didn't listen to it. I knew what it. What the fuck I'm going to listen to a nigga play the oh. flute for? <laughs> Put my drink down before I spill it. Ain't nothing in the cup. 
<laughs> I mean, it's, I'm impressed that the nigga can make a flute. I don't want to hear about it. I don't even want to hear about it. No, no, no. I don't want to hear no nigga play no flute. Fuck if I want. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a trick Mike, at first. Mike, you listen to the Snoop, to the, uh, to the Andre the 3000 Bible. album? Yeah, you already right. know. I, you know, I had to put my ear on it, man. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm an Andre fan and just a music fan too. So I think uh, <laughs> how'd you how'd you listen to it? Did you like listen? To, was it in the car? Did you put some headphones on? Some uh, in my car. I know I'm here. Yeah, in my car. Uh, and um, you turned it up. <laughs> yeah, you had to a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it was quiet. Yeah. <laughs> the flu <was> soft to say. <laughs> it's a goddamn flu. <laughs> got I mean, there's, 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 there's several. A, there's a lot of mid range. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nah, but but it's dope, man. Um, if you like instrumentals, <laughs> and you can and you have appreciation for it, you know that that <laughs> that genre of, of musical art and. and then absolutely. I mean, I wasn't disappointed. I was actually impressed to the point, like kind of w- what you said, uh, Cato, that he able, was able to put something out. He wants some traction he never even did before. Hell. And then, and then on the cross side of it too, is people that never would have ever listened to this music had a chance to see if they really like got, it now, or resonate with it, and now they can have a, a you know what I mean. Yeah. But if you're looking for bars from Andre, in which I that's probably my only disappointment for me. Not disappointed in him, but disappointed because I didn't get to hear it. You know, because I'm saying sometimes we, we we won't roll with people unless they, you know what I'm saying, living the life we want them to live. But he, said, he said he wasn't rapping on it. Hell? Exactly. Well, everybody knew. Mm. But, y'all, but I think the bars. I, I thought it was a trick, though. The I, track. I thought it was going to be like three flute songs and like then in the middle somewhere. It's like you know, some verse or something. Verse yeah. Why does everybody think that? <laughs> so he had, he had, he had bars on it, though. Album. He had bars on it, in my opinion. The yeah, track title. The track list. I ain't never seen. A sentence for a track, so I think you yeah. know, put it together, and that's then that's the bar. That's why the, even that is even more reason why I thought it was so obvious that this nigga was not going to rap. Yeah. On no, everybody knew it was him. clear. Like no, nah, yeah, there's I mean, a I, lot of people who really. Thought, I thought it could have been. Rap. I thought it could have been the joke, but for the most part, I expected. Fucking a whole album of this nigga playing the flute for real. Yeah, because he did a whole interview where he was, and I was hoping it was a joke. Yeah, and he said he's put out music with. um under another name that people don't know about, playing oh, yeah. the flute and stuff on other artists' tracks and stuff like that, to put out different music mm. that way. But that yeah, I, I folks respect just don't know the fuck about out before of he's it. put out this album. But nigga made a whole fucking flute album. I, like I tell you, the people who are gonna like it like relaxation music. If you like relaxation, you know what I'm yeah. saying, meditation, reflection type music, you probably like it. Um, I can see people sampling from it. I can see syncs coming off of it from TV stuff or. National Geographic or whatever that lane Man, might nah, be, hey, you know what I'm saying. But I can I can see that coming off of there too. It's a lot of because the songs are like 12 minutes to 17 minutes long. Yeah, because it's, uh, it's no ten, structure or nothing. Or ten songs. Yeah, I think it's like yeah, seven but or eight. But it's still or like, like an hour or something. Or yeah. An hour so and, and there's long. no structure to it. Three you know, I mean, you know, like how a song has a chord or just some kind of. Okay, I got it. You oh, know. so he's just playing the flute for real. Yeah, it's like some. It flute. ain't really it's like, like sitting at it's no structure, no boundary. Yeah. yeah, it's not orchestrated at all. It's he just, just jamming free that sound. Idea. Man, okay. Uh, <laughs> and then he just like take a break game. for a couple seconds and just come back in with something different. Yeah, I don't know. Probably I don't know. I don't know the recording process. But I, what I I'm do know about is that what it sound like. Yeah, yeah. It's a, uh, it's a lot of free sound. Yeah. This nigga finesse because they the said uh, he, he was playing other instruments on it too, but yeah. apparently it's just woodwind instruments. Primarily, nigga, I think they got a clarinet on there, don't mm-hmm. it? I, I think the biggest thing from it too, from what I understand, I ain't checked it though. Uh, so, but like regular music resonates or, or has a frequency around four hundred forty hertz, but this album particularly is tuned to four thirty two, which is a healing. Yeah, uh, frequency. Yeah, this shit been all so, over the internet. Like Andre uh, just trying to heal you niggas, and y'all don't even want to get healed. Reset nervous systems. <laughs> yeah, so, right, yeah. Dude. But yeah, it's it was a, all right. A, yeah, and I, that could be interesting because some of those instruments come from the instruments overseas that have the other notes that people don't use. Like you know, we go by twelve notes. Yeah, and overseas they, they had more. So all but, that stuff. That's what the hurts and all that and the, all this shit. But. Well, yeah, I ain't cool never too. went and checked for a flute album. If I, I wanted whatever from Andre, like, yeah, I was selfish. I wanted what I wanted. But he doing what he doing. But, yeah, I, I thought about it. Like, I ain't never went and checked for no motherfucker playing the flute before. Like, so, yeah, I mean, that's just, 
he in a different lane than what where I'm at. God damn it. Yeah, so I'm not going nowhere. Yeah, like, I'm just I don't I don't I ain't hear the shit. I'm probably not. It gonna, doesn't make you feel any different about him though, right? No, no, not at all. I, it make well actually yeah. it do make me feel a little different because it make me like like I said like it's it's kind of amazing though for real. Okay. Like who the fuck else could do some shit like that for real? Anybody. You, not but, get traction like that. Yeah, though. like Fifty Cent can't put out a fucking flute album right now. I'm saying if he did, it'd be the same thing. It, yeah, it I mean, it would, but like way. this this nigga, he's special, goddamn it. Okay. <laughs> is there, but is I don't want to hear the flute, goddamn it. Cause, cause I get that, and I I don't, and I I see a lot of pushback from that. A lot of people still are like, yeah, that's cool and everything, but you know what we want and what we expect as fans. You know how we regard you as far as the artist that you are in hip-hop yeah, he ain't and rapper give, yeah, and stuff. He, be, be yourself. If you wanted to do a fucking flute album, do a... Motherfucker don't never do another rap album What if he wanted to do, like, the OnlyFans and then... Shit, you know, why not? I'm, I'm not going to go watch it, God damn it, but Right, like shit. you won't go listen to the flute album, go, but do, what do you, you feel do. any different about him then if he decides to go to porn rap? That might be a little different. <laughs> 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 but I don't really feel no... Because I don't give a fuck about... <laughs> None when of these people as a person Baghdad, for real. Yeah. yeah, and I don't give a fuck about none of these. <laughs> just be honest. I don't give a fuck about none of the people as a person. I like the product they put out for real. Yeah. That's that's all it is. Like, and I hate to reduce a motherfucker to like, this is what you're worth to be for real. But I mean, I don't fucking know Andre yeah. 3000 for real. It is, for real. All I know is fucking outcast for real. When you put that shit out, I'm going to listen to that shit. Whatever yeah. else you're doing, if it ain't something... I want to be a part of. I ain't got shit to do with that. Yeah. If you come back after your OnlyFans event and put out another rap album, I'm there, guys. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I wait for first. I'm gonna let some more people talk. Yeah, I'm gonna let them be here to talk about it first, <laughs> just to make sure right, you ain't yeah. on some OnlyFans shit on here, guys. Right, right, we know you tell a good story. Yeah, we just make sure wanna... yeah, nah, <laughs> <laughs> keep that shit to yourself, guys. Man. I don't want to hear it. Something to play a list and shit. <laughs> Come back with the shoulder pads like the Ultimate Warrior and then just to wear shit. Oh, shit. Congratulations, Andre. Hey, man. Man. And this, I bet this motherfucker got the highest streaming flute album ever or some shit Probably. for real. Do you think he should have, do you think there's, uh, he should have put Lizzo on there? Is that some kind of little? I mean, I guess she, she played the flute too, but fuck it. Is anybody on there? I don't know. Shit, I don't, I don't know so. shit. I don't know. Yeah. I, don't, I can't hear. Yeah, I don't know nothing. I wasn't going to listen to no food. I don't know. We ain't nobody. For real. <laughs> I hear it. I don't. I ain't never searched. <laughs> Is Yanni got some new shit that drop? Let me Man. go check his Yanni out. Wow. Um, Three stacks, though. 3,000 yeah. flutes. Uh, while we shouting folks out, real quick, shout out, uh, what's his name? Clifford Harris. Clifford Harris. Yeah, because <laughs> that's what the paper had to say to Clifford Harris. Shout out T.I. T.I.P. This is uh, about the project. Yeah, he built uh, an affordable housing, uh, what do you call it? Division? Complex? Complex, yeah. I guess, yeah. Something Par- like that, though. Apartment complex. He know. He, he he built some shit, some apartments. Some apartments. And uh, he got 25 units for homeless people. And he built it on some of the land that he said that his grandmother used to go grocery shopping on in Atlanta. So shout shit, out T.I. Goddamn. That's what's up, shit. That's what's that is up. what's up. Homeless That's some people, fly they, shit. they ain't got to be homeless no more. That's some fly. At least some of them. You can live where this fucking grocery store used to be at. Yeah. Shout out to you. That's what's up. I mean, Tiny I got to take her. I don't know. Yeah, she was there in the picture. I don't know I what it takes to do shit like that. Shit, a whole hey, bunch of money go shit. Yeah, and you got to wait for government to, to yeah, agree to a whole shit. bunch of shit. Hell, then you got everybody build the shit. Because the pictures, it was, you got it, though. it was some nice Once you got it, picture. you got it. The government pretty much paying for this shit now for real. Yeah. Once you yeah. once this shit up there and you, you in there for right. real, you a public housing, like you straight for right. real. You ain't got to worry about a book. Oh, you ain't paid so what do you think about that? Is that? Do you think that that's a redundant thing that we do? What do you mean? Like, I mean. He What's just, redundant? He he built the projects. He did build the projects. <laughs> he did build the projects. But, I mean, shit. It's, it's, it's our real estate for real. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, shit. 
The homeless people got to shit. Somebody got to build the projects. No. Why not? Sound fucking like tip a crack dealer. Prizes? Sound like a say? crack dealer. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody got to build the prizes. Why not tip build the prizes? Shit. <laughs> I'm bit. just saying. No. <laughs> Let them build the prizes then. Fuck it. We'll just live in the bitches. I'm saying, why the projects? Why I'm sure he done built some other shit, too. Yeah, but I'm saying, though, still. Yeah. Why, why is so many times when the that's first the goal? Five. Is to, no, the goal is to, like, go back and redo the projects. Because that's what you, that's your home for real. That's where you from. That's but why would you want to redo you something when, you, when you're educated on what it is and why? It, but I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm sure he do other shit, too. But like I said, it's a lot of money in the projects for real. So we don't, so once it gets to that money point, the redundancy. But yeah, that's, that's over um, my over my pay, that's above my pay grade for real. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I just, but I I just think it's, that's interesting. It's, too. it's a lot of continuous money coming if you own the projects, God damn it. I'd imagine. It's like getting out of prison and buying it. I or building watch. another one. Oh. A prison. It's a lot of money in prison. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, I'm, it's, yeah, you can get out of prison and build me one. Now nah, I know the inner workings. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> top to bottom. I know what it's I don't like in there. Yeah, that show? what's that show? Uh, undercover boss. Man, okay. I don't need to go undercover. Nah, you got to go <laughs> undercover. You already been there, front line. <laughs> shit. But yeah, um, it is nice buildings. It look nice from the outside. Yay, yeah, T.I. They're gonna be nice for a while, especially uh, in this. Was fucked up to say, like if they finna move like real homeless people in there, <laughs> mm-hmm. it's gonna go down right now. <laughs> hey, it's a place I go to. I'm not gonna say where, but I'll be like, oh, man, okay, all right. I ain't the Anybody same. Anybody lives but, here. Yeah, judge a motherfucker or anything. Yeah, but, but yeah, yeah, it's finna go down right now. This shit ain't gonna look nice yeah. for long. I seen they put a second story on one of them structures down down the way. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah I think they be building. Okay. You might be okay. No, I think what they doing. I think it's the most shit I seen. Like I think it's an apartment with like garages underneath it. You might I, be okay. I think that's what they got going. Maybe, but I'm you just saying okay. it could be government shit too. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's going up though. That'll go up. That'll go I'm up. I'm just saying <laughs> they gonna move the homeless in here. No. Oh no, not that good. Let them I tip me out there taking pictures with the scissors. It might still, it might still make it go up. Damn. Yeah, anything gonna make it go up? Cause we we rural right now. So the the more shit they put around us, the more this shit become urban. The more this shit go go up. But I don't really want. Yeah, I'm, stay the fuck from around here. That's too late. It is too late. Cause they coming. It's too they late. They is fucking coming. It don't matter though. She silver lining. This shit would be worth some more money. This shit. I said this shit moved to another part of the country. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Go, I'm going to see what Tip Rogers talking about. Any money. <laughs> go yeah. see if I can get some subsidized ass around this bitch. Shit. shit. I, I wonder if motherfucker found that chain. I didn't about see one what of the projects. Oh, you didn't see it? Shit, we got a clip, don't it? We, we got, got a clip for the little Uzi, Uzi Vert. Uzi chain, we ain't got no clip. We ain't got no clip for that dude. Uh-huh. Never mind. But either way, we do? Yeah. Oh, shit. Excuse me. Motherfucking Lil Uzi Vert jumped in the crowd. I dropped my motherfucking chain. Dropped him chain. Whoever find that motherfucker, I'll cash you out on the spot right now. You find the chain, you out there, what do you do? I think you should give the chain back. Yeah, you bring the chain back up here to Power 1051, and you bring it back up here so we can get it back to Lil Uzi. Because the reality is, they say the chain is worth what? They say 500000 but it could be anywhere from 200000 100000 We don't know. A couple no hundred thousand. Thousand. Not, however many hundreds of thousands of dollars it is, you're not going to get that in the street. You know what I'm saying? If you try to resell it. And if you try to wedge, sure. you're going to end up getting robbed. So you better That's true. I'm so are y- are y'all giving the bag? What y'all doing? What you going to do? We're going to assume $500,000 chain. We're going to assume it's a half a million dollar chain. He was at the concert. That bitch fell off, and it just fell in your fucking head. <laughs> you ain't even been down to pick that bitch up. It just fell and landed in your head. What you doing? What you doing? $500,000 chain. <laughs> 
But I'll think about it. Shit, I right. think about hell. You ain't got think, much time. Shit, right. I'm finna get the fuck out. This is mine's. This is mine's <laughs> right now. Shit, all right. The rich nigga said, give it back. I'm not giving it back. Half a million dollars, Jane. Who knows I have it? Nobody. Oh, so yeah, just, nobody. It just felt yeah. like, yeah, he jumped and it fell and then it so just blew. I mean, it, you in the crowd and it landed I right might, there. I might be able to tell him who has it. You gonna tell him who got it? I might be able to tell him who has it. You gonna point him to somebody else and you got it in your hand? I don't know. That's fucked up, Bob. <laughs> it's not. That's fucked up. Why you even? You ain't even gotta say that. I didn't say I was gonna point nobody. Oh, you said you was gonna tell him who got it. I said I might be able to tell him who has it. Uh, you gonna tell him you got it? I didn't say that either. Uh, I ain't telling him shit. I don't know shit. I don't see know what kind shit. of reward money you talking about. Yeah, because he just said, I'll cash you out right yeah, now. Yeah, that don't nah. mean shit. Yeah, no. Nah. That don't mean <laughs> she going to give you whatever he got in his pocket. And I bet it's nowhere near <laughs> well, I don't, you what not, you can get for this chain. You're not getting full value for yeah, this Yeah, you're chain. not going to get $500,000 for you're this chain. You're not going to get 100000 If you got a half a million dollar chain, you could get $100,000. Absolutely. What? A, a fucking, the right jurist don't going to give you that a fucking half a million call dollar chain. Police day? immediately. Shit, all right. The right jurist though. <laughs> yeah, the wrong jurist though gonna call the police. The right one doesn't have a. <laughs> they gonna no you real jurist though. The right one because they gonna make that motherfucker. In the, they gonna either sell that bitch. They gonna make it into some more jury. Uh, it, shit, they don't give a fuck if you got the right one. You know the right people. You get at least. There ain't none of them stores around here. Guaranteed it is. I guarantee you it is. She, I guarantee you it is. I could think of two of them bitches right now. I could walk into like, hey, hey, bro, look, I got some shit that ain't some shit that, yeah, but this bitch worth a half a million? Give me a hundred thousand, you can have it, bitch. I guarantee you, it's, I know two of them bitches that'll be like, hey, let me see that bitch. Like, nah, you got to come outside. It's <laughs> <laughs> Cause I don't trust you, but I got it. No, right. don't bring the money. Just come see. Yeah, right. I bet. She, I, all right. I take your word for it. I, I mean, I don't know for certain, but I, I bet I'd put money on it. Yeah, I, yeah. I I'll put I'm, money on. I'm, it. I'm just gonna see how much that. You see how much he talking about, and then I'll see if I can find a dude. Seven thousand dollars. Yeah, I think I need to go see if I can find a dude that. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he got my self grand in his pocket yeah, for no. what he finna do tonight. No. I give you this, like, yeah, no. And once you up there, you can't be like, yeah, no, that ain't enough. Like, <laughs> yeah, you gotta give him the chain. No, I'm just saying, not you. I'm saying, yeah. if a motherfucker go up there with the chain, like, yeah, he ain't go. And he be like, yeah, he go sell him grand. You can't be like, yeah, no, nah, I think I keep it. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, you can't do that either. <laughs> like, you gotta take this self down. That's why you gotta tell him that you you think you know who has. Oh, uh, you for the finesse the guy. Like, like, nah, I, I could get it for you guys, yeah. man. <laughs> tie <Maybe>. him up. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. I well, wish Lil was. <laughs> it ain't gonna be him. He Lil. Who's the very one trying to tell somebody to tie me Man, up? Shit. That's what I would do. We getting tied up together. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Uzi. Come on. on. <laughs> it's a bundle, goddamn. <laughs> it's diamond on his forehead, rubbing on your forehead. Well, I go, he go. Well, I had to go do a full delta for the front. I don't what know. I don't that know. was the weirdest shit. It was. You gotta, I don't know. I just, when well, y'all was nah, putting cool. the rope around y'all, y'all was facing. Nah, that's cool. Shit. That's weird, too. I mean, what the fuck, way, Kato? Is, what you want, this boot out you said? Kato. <laughs> you the one <laughs> grabbed the nigga shit. What did you do? I didn't grab him. You grabbed him. Jeez. Don't be grabbing niggas when you, you finna get tied up. You the one to be grabbed in the first place. I'm just, you had and the you chain. tied up. You had the chain. And you did that, too. You had the chain. No, you, you was... You was gonna tell him. I was saying what I'm I would do. I'm gonna tell him nothing. That's what I'm gonna do. What you gonna do if a nigga be like, yeah, nah, I know where it's at though. Like, yeah, nah, bitch, I ain't if, now you you finna you finna give me my chain for free now. We finna goddamn buck that. All right, we'll see. <laughs> okay, now you and I up with the nigga diamond rubbing against your forehead. You don't got a diamond. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he got whatever, whatever the fuck it was. Then the nigga with the Sapphire fucking stone in the forehead. Yeah, yeah, he been, it's been gone. Oh, it wasn't there forever. No. Oh shit! I thought this nigga had the shit forever now. No. Sorry to disappoint you, Kato. I don't even know what the nigga look like. I just remember the nigga with the pink stone in his forehead. Damn. Yeah, I ain't know he lost the chain. That's crazy. 
You got insurance though, right? You got to have insurance. Like, what the fuck? You got to have. It's probably insurance for half a million. That bitch worth goddamn 100000 This is all a scam. Man, okay. He got the chain in his pocket. Hell yeah. Man, okay. Homeboy got that shit. <laughs> hey, when like I that, jump into the crowd. I feel like there might be a clause. If I'm an insurance company, <laughs> I'm putting that in there. You can't jump in the crowd with this on. No. This is a half a million dollars and you going to jump in the crowd? Hell no. I don't know. They should have built it right. Mm -mm. You can't, why, why it you can't why stop it every Somebody strong. <laughs> hey, Y'all shouldn't have let them in. <laughs> Man, no. <laughs> I put that in my insurance clause. You got to sign this shit. Hell no. I hope you had insurance because that's why. You got to have insurance on that kind you of You don't have to. Real. I mean, you don't and have to. And it might not have been worth that much. Yeah, you know it's probably but even I mean, you know, That's still, still a lot, lot of fucking money. Yeah, okay. So that shit like that ain't nothing. Nigga, I got three of them back there right now, just dusty as fuck. I don't even wear them, though, These rappers, they be talking like that, though. Yeah, right. Most of the time, the jury don't even be theirs. Man. And they be financing it. I ain't gonna tell nobody. Because I can't even finance it. Where we at on time? 250 chains. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's all, it's all grave. Man, what is this, bro? Uh, you want to you want to see what um Leslie Jones was talking about? I, I guess I'm I'm in. Nobody. Oh, you. Oh, uh, he wrote that. Yeah, it's on there. That's why say you, that's take why care of you your dick. That. Yeah, that's what I'm. Doing. What the fuck is this, bro? <laughs> I mean, that's good advice. I guess. I had to look around at the tablet to see oh, the rest okay. of it. Like, all right. all right. that's good advice, hell. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you should do that. Everyone should do that. You that should take care one. of all of you. Yeah. Or if you bought one or yeah, whatever. Either way, yeah. Yeah. If it's take yours, care. you should take care of that motherfucker. Yeah. I guess if it ain't yours, you got it. <laughs> take care of that motherfucker. I don't know. Sure. <laughs> Peace and love to everybody. I was just saying. <laughs> <coughs> It wasn't yours, but it's yours now. I don't know. Somebody swapped it out. I talk to I men, too. And like, I, I'm going to give y'all so much permission to fucking learn and, and advance to where mm -hmm. we are as women. Like, we Leslie doing Jones the work. Men Night are Live. not doing the work. And I'm going to say it. Y'all not doing the work. What and kind of work? let me just say this, too. Uh-oh. Y'all okay. don't know shit about pussy. Okay. It's one of your favorite things. It's one of your favorite things. You don't know shit. I don't understand right. how you don't know shit about pussy. Or if Man. your dick is working properly. What should we know though? Go to first of all, go to the doctor, put your nuts in a doctor's hand and cough to the fucking left. Find you out what's wrong with your hand. dick first. <laughs> There's a lot of no, I'm being very right, honest. Right. I've been hooking you up and hand. dudes' yeah, dicks are not working properly. Y'all then ate all that fucking McDonald's. And all that shit, you yeah. ain't drinking water. That's what You're not is. fucking taking care of yourself. And that's your dick. That's like one of your prized possessions. Mm -hmm. You go get your car checked. You won't get... <laughs> hey, <laughs> go put your nuts in the doctor's hands. And turn to the left and call. Hey. And find out what's wrong with your dick. Go get your dick checked. That's a big bitch. That's an ugly motherfucker, yeah. man. Man, that's... Man... She looks strong. I bet she could dunk. I bet she said she been she out here dunk. messing with some dudes, and dudes' dicks just don't work right. I bet. And I don't even think it's got nothing to do with what they eating or drinking or none of that. That was my first thought. A motherfucker look her in her face and be like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What am like, I think doing? Of something else. Think of something else. Think of something else. It's not like, working. It's like, not working. Switch. Man, okay. It's not like switch. Man. <laughs> Yeah. She she got the wrong she she somebody gave her the wrong idea. They didn't want to tell her, like, no, I'm gonna go to the doctor. <laughs> it's me, something wrong. <laughs> no, bitch, it's you, something wrong. <laughs> I did. You see her face? Yeah. Man, all right, all right. She just scared the fuck out of me. I run across her at night time. <laughs> You look outside if he's looking in your window. <laughs> I'm calling the police. Bitch. I'm just trying to figure out like what kind of dude. Is this ain't gonna work? Doing before. that anyway. Of course it ain't gonna work. Fucking with you. How you? 
I don't know. Some some motherfuckers will fuck anything. Some motherfuckers will fuck anything. I've I've been around some niggas that'll fuck anything for real. Like it don't it's it's got a pussy, they'll do it, god damn it. <sighs> yeah, it's wild to me. It's wild as hell to me. Maybe them the niggas dick don't work. So maybe she got the point. They eat, they was eating McDonald's. Man, I maybe so. <laughs> I eat McDonald's, my dick work. <laughs> I don't eat well, McDonald's I'm, often. Talking about the dudes you was talking about that you been around that'll fuck anything. They was I, eating McDonald's. I guess they it was, yeah. We <laughs> we rode through the drive through together before. <laughs> Shit. So she might be on to something for real. Here. Mate, no, I don't think so. I don't she think the McDonald's had something. nothing to do with it. I'm just saying she helping other women point them out. And helping men realize if it's them. No, because I eat the McDonald's and I ain't just go fucking. But you, didn't, you don't qualify in all the things. You know, it's oh, you like gotta qualify you know the commercial the where it'd be like, does this happen? Okay. Does this happen too? I if guess you say yes McDonald's. to everything. Okay, you, all right. Yeah, you, okay, you only got one yes, so you're okay, pre diabetic. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. I guess I can get with that. Watch them niggas that eat McDonald's. Damn. They dig ain't gonna work. That I might be know. one of the signs. I'm what else getting, she say? I'm not getting behind it. <laughs> what else she say? She said, she said something else, they right? They don't drink water. You don't drink water. They don't drink yeah. water. You don't drink I mean, water. That, that, that might be for real. It'll help some. Because water yeah. do help with your blood circulation and yeah. shit. Yeah. So that, that shit, might be. Somebody. Especially if you're eating McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, drink some water. <laughs> 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 Drink a lot of water. <laughs> what else? That was, and you got to go to the. You got to go the to doctor the doctor. Hold your nuts. Yeah, obviously. No. You got to put them in his head. No, put them in his head. You got to place gotta, them yeah. there. <laughs> I she don't know how this shit work. <laughs> Hold on, you just go dog. <laughs> Doctor going to leave out the room. <laughs> doctor act like he want to tape my nuts. <laughs> he go check these for me. <laughs> I'm not a doctor, no. you don't even take my nuts okay. when I had them to <laughs> Try to hit this nigga on my nuts, he gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of doctor, you got me in. <laughs> Nurse come back talking about the doctor took the rest of the day off. <laughs> Fuck going on here. I, I can't doctor come back no more. Doctor had his hand full of nuts today. Man, no, he got handed some nuts today. <laughs> That's the fucked up part. You don't give him your nuts, goddamn it. Oh, and then even, cough. Doctor ain't even cough. ready. They just go. You, <laughs> <laughs> you good? You good? We straight. Where you little clip boy at? <laughs> Which is even right? <laughs> Give me some burger sits. <laughs> just see if it. Just see. Hey, that nurse single out there. <laughs> <laughs> Tell about my balls. Tell about my balls. <laughs> You held him. You held him. I gave him to you. You know about him, Doc. You know about him. She said, I don't give everybody my ball, Doc. <laughs> I didn't jump when I cough. Tell him. Tell him, Doc. It was a strong call, yeah, wasn't it, Doc? Okay. Hell yeah. Let us know about Bitch, it. you got to earn You got my number. <laughs> <laughs> Your viral too high. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Go to the doctor. Check on your dick, man. <laughs> Oh shit! I'm oh, blunted yeah. without fucking with y'all. Somebody got to hurt you. Advice from Leslie Jones. That's fucked up. Hey, I'm here. If she wants to give out more advice, I'll check it out. And see what she has to say. I guess what nothing <laughs> of awful, but just don't don't put your balls in the doctor. <laughs> that wasn't a good part. Don't do that. Oh, because if it's a female doctor, you going to jail. Man, okay, <laughs> okay. This is the motherfucking optometrist. Bitch, you here for some glasses? <laughs> Here you go, Doc. <laughs> Which one's better? <laughs> oh, man. oh shit! Hey, no, nah, I'm not fucking with y'all. <coughs> shit. Um, Ooh, did he been out here putting this balls? In <laughs> Here you go, Doc. <laughs> Oh yeah. shit! He has been. That's, that's been what I'm wild, saying. Man. I'm not shocked at all by Diddy with some strange sexual allegations. Not in the least bit. This bitch finna die. He's talking about his tablet, not anybody else. No, <laughs> damn. Well, you're right. Yeah, y'all didn't. My iPad finna die. Yeah, <laughs> 
I, I did it. All right. All right, bitch. Take that. Take hey, that. All right, bro. All right, God damn it. Coming for your ass, God damn. Yeah, I it didn't come out right. It didn't come out right. But tell the people who did it, did it, right? That's why I ain't. Cassandra Ventura. Cassandra? That's her name. Cassandra Ventura. Oh, Cassandra. Wait a minute. Yeah. That too. I said that, that. What did yep. he do to Wale? <laughs> did he, why? He pulled a Suge Knight? That was the thing. It's the, that's what you said. Say it right. And then I can't even read. Oh, come on. Where we at? I don't know if it's true or not. I, Man, didn't, okay. I, I hadn't seen that yet, but I figured we'd see what it's talking about when we got here. Yeah, apparently um, a witness said that Diddy thought that Wale was flirting with Cassie. And his goons held Wale by the legs over the motherfucking balcony. I had to remember her name, Cassie, goddamn it. Damn. Yeah. And the witness was just in the studio witnessing all this shit. What you do if that happens? A nigga named Ant. If you who? If the goons is coming to get you to hang you over a balcony, what's your next move? You over there by the edge of the balcony, and all of a sudden, somebody tap you on the shoulder. And it's the goons. We finna hang you over this bitch. <laughs> I don't think they tell you. Man, okay. They just turn you around to get you in position. Like, what? She a fight hard? What can you do? Until you, like. Hung it, over the balcony. Yeah, then be still, <laughs> goddamn it. <laughs> what yeah, else got can it. you, man, right? Y'all yeah, got it. Yeah, what else can you do? You can't do shit else. It's fucked up, Diddy. It? It's fucked man. up. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Did it, Suge Nike, motherfucker? I hope that's not true. I believe it. She said he I was jealous as hell. Yeah. She said, she said, and man. uh no Vlad be on this shit. He be ready to pull some shit up. Man, okay. So he pulled up an old interview of um Jock telling the story about going out with Diddy and Cassie one time. No. And uh, how did how Cassie ended up shaving the side of her head. Okay. Night and it was an interesting story, especially okay. amongst the allegations, which we still haven't actually said what happened. Yeah, um, it like that, it sounds like it's probably interesting. Uh, Diddy was previously accused by Cassie, and she was trying to, I think she was trying to sue him for a while, and he, he wasn't, yeah, he wasn't trying to give up no money, like sexual abuse and stuff like that. But no, it wasn't yeah. even a while though, like she filed a lawsuit. And they settled out of court the next day. Yeah. No, not before this happened. I'm talking. Uh, it was another lawsuit. Yeah, she had been trying to get some money from him before this. Oh, okay. And the shit didn't work. And then this lawsuit came out. And it was like y'all said. Uh, there were a lot of very heinous allegations and a lot of shit. Uh, alleged acts that happened. Um, something else came out about hell? Kid Cudi. Some came out about a lot of stuff. There's lots of little Man, okay. Diddy stories all over the internet right now. <laughs> I believe uh, it. He, he looked sexually weird, don't he? <laughs> I believe it. Uh, I believe it. So, then a day later, she settled for eight million, supposedly. I don't know. I think I, I heard, heard thirty. Yeah, somewhere. I, I heard thirty. Somewhere. I heard the well, original she amount she was 30. suing for was thirty. Then I, I saw she numbers. settled for thirty. I heard it was four. I heard eight. it was eight. I heard it was twenty something. I, we, they ain't really released what it was yet. Yeah, she real. might not have settled at all. No, they they did say they settled though. Okay, they did say they settled, but they ain't released. Then it's enough. probably an NDA. Yeah, probably so. We probably never know how much yeah. it was for real. And she can't really that. say what he did no more and all this shit. Right. <laughs> ain't no book coming to none of this. Ain't no surviving did it. None of this shit coming. <laughs> well, I don't know, because some of them girls still came out after they weren't supposed to. Uh, okay. Later right. on. Baby. So, I feel I like mean, she got a big old chunk of money. Yeah, I would assume so. Did it said, nah, we ain't talking about none of this shit. Get the check right now. His album was pretty good too. What is it? I liked it. I ain't even listen. I kept a couple songs from it. Not take both take of them, take but oh. I wouldn't assume you would like it. I liked one of the bad boy albums I listened to. It's not a bad boy album. 
Was it a bad boy album? No, it was a P. Diddy. No, yeah, it was maybe P. Diddy and the family, maybe. It had yeah. Twisty and Trick Daddy and some yeah, more no, motherfuckers on there, that. too. It's none of that. Yeah, nah, I'm probably not just going to want to hear a bunch of P. Diddy songs. No, nah, it's people singing and stuff. It's like an R&B album. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to hear that shit, neither. Yeah. But Diddy is fucking definitely out here wilding. Um, he said, like, I don't know, but what if he's not wilding? Maybe not. I feel like Dilly been wilding for a long time. I, I didn't heard some pee wild on somebody. stories. He peed on Drake? He peed on Drake. He did pee on Drake. He slapped shit out of Drake, too. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody said J. Cole and Diddy got into it, and J. Cole ain't been in the car since. It's just too many stories. Man. It's too many people. Yeah. I've been hearing stories about Diddy for a long time. Man. Yeah. And he, he look, look at him. He look like he'll do some weird shit for real. Take that, take that. He'll take take something. He talking about pussy. (laughs) (laughs) He was the first Trump? (laughs) What? He was the first Trump? Man, no, Trump was already doing it. He probably saw Diddy got (laughs) it. No, Diddy got to take that, take that. (laughs) I was just saying, that's what I heard. I wouldn't know. I don't understand, I don't understand. It's fucked up shit, uh, you know. If she went through all that stuff and yeah, that's fucked if up. she went through any of it, you know, that's fucked up. And that's I'm fucked glad up. she's able to move on and still getting through life and things. And, and uh, it's gonna be hopefully a bit whatever the settlement is, hell. you know, will help her and her family to be a little more okay with moving on in life. And I think it might help. Whatever it is. Hmm. It's fucked up to have yeah, to go I didn't through expect that shit to see that. that shit, though. I didn't expect, I wish I could remember what happened before that she was talking about why she why she was trying to get money from him. But uh One of them charges is sex trafficking. That's wild as hell. Hey. That's wild as hell. They said they used she said Diddy would hire male prostitutes to fuck her while he watched. Yeah, she did they, say that. They wildin' out here. She did say that. And she didn't want to do it. At least that's what she said now. They wildin' out here. Mm. What else going on out this motherfucker? Damn, did he? Yeah. Biggie mad. Biggie rolling in his grave. I don't think oh. Biggie can roll. That's fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked up. Oh. It's Ross. This Biggie too. No. It was something like that. No. Hell. What else going on? Tell us about this meat that's banned in Italy. <laughs> uh, Bill Gates is making synthetic meat. Okay, then. All right. And Italy has become the first country to ban it. Get this shit out of here. wants everybody to join in. So nobody need to be in this fake ass meat. At least not Bill Gates. Not Bill Gates. Yeah, Shit. it's his. It's his fake meat. Why not his? So they ain't being all the fake that meat. Sound wild. They just man, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't being all of it. Just his. Would. Well, or is he the only one know. doing this shit over there? Well, nah, he ain't. He ain't the only one with synthetic meat. Yeah. That's, that's so they just hating on too. Gates. Damn. They just hating on Gates in here. I'm wondering. There's, there's some hoes for that. Now. Maybe he cornered the market first and they was like, nope, nope. That's what I wanted. Man, yeah, he went over there in Italy, got a monopoly on the fake meat. Yeah. Like, he the only one over here with it. And they like, hell no. Nah, hell no. Nah. But you, you was care not about eating Walmart. synthetic meat? I mean, I don't care what other motherfuckers do. I prefer for my meat to come from a cow. <laughs> what if it's a clone cow? Yeah, Um. I don't think, maybe I don't give a fuck about that for real. Okay. I guess I, if I had an option, you was you did say you take the pig heart. Yeah, absolutely. If I had the option, give me the cow that came out the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I want the pussy cow. Yeah, <laughs> not, <laughs> but, not then, the petri cow. Yeah, no, nah, not the petri cow. But <laughs> if it's then you can eat the petri cow or you can eat the lab meat. Give me the petri cow. Petri cow is lab meat. No, nah, but it's it's it half is, lab but meat. It, it it's grew mixed. the same. It's grass meat still. 
Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's still yeah, meat yeah. that forms. It didn't come out of 3D printer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's still meat. This shit right here. <laughs> I saw a post from a memory, uh, I think on Facebook, um, a 3D pen. The first time I saw a 3D pen. Oh, yeah. And I was like, hell to the, like, you know, this shit wild as hell. Now they making meat out of them. 3D meat, goddamn. That's crazy. Would yeah, y'all, would y'all try it? No. I don't want it. Like, you can watch somebody print it and then cook it up. Because I, I seen it. Yeah, it it looked so. just like, it looked just like I meat. Know. How would you know? We ain't eating it right now. I feel bad about the stuff yep. that I cook now. I, mean, I guess you, you wouldn't, but I would. This is one of the things you just got to hope that. <laughs> That's like going to a fast food place. Yeah, like, you got a whole Hopefully, man. they didn't drop uh, somebody yeah. home. Or <laughs> uh, home cooking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Eating in somebody else's house. It's one of them things yeah. you just got to hope the government ain't going to let them sneak that shit on you, goddamn it. Yeah, I already feel bad about this, going and getting a pound of hamburger meat and cooking it. Yeah, you know, yeah. That shit already. I know that shit's just, yeah. colored and dyed. Ain't none and of this all shit like, real. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, it's already it's fake, already, right? Yeah, I'm already... <laughs> like, and I still be doing this shit, like, looking at it. Because, I mean, what you going to do? eating this. You, you gonna not eat meat? I, uh, That's the only other option. I mean, you can be a vegetarian, but then you see the videos where they make the lettuce in the sink. <laughs> then I'm gonna be like Snoop. <laughs> <laughs> you see the videos where they make the lettuce in the sink. They I say ain't that see shit that. ain't real. Yeah, they they got a video where they spray some shit and make fucking a whole head of lettuce out Man. of spray. Yeah, and and uh, uh, water too. Yeah, I see where they was dipping something. And Damn. they turn, yeah, they just stirred it and it turned it. Look, when they dry it, it looked just like lettuce. Yeah. A head of yeah, lettuce, not boy. no leaf. I'm yeah, talking the about whole, they, got, they know yeah, how to they make it like a head. They leaves that made like, a head. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I missed that. But I mean, lettuce still grow though. Like it's still <laughs> real lettuce too. Like all the lettuce ain't fake. Nope, it's all sink lettuce. Man, okay, but <laughs> lettuce, strong lettuce ain't there. got no nutrition. <laughs> Whoever worked there, anyway. strong as fuck. Goddamn. Lettuce just I just know, there water. for real. Yeah. If you're gonna eat a salad, get some spinach on that bitch. Hell. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Italy, Italy wants y'all to join them. If you want to join the cause, I don't know how to, but probably they do. Look for Italy. Yeah, I ain't really with the band and shit, but I guess that's yeah. America though. America, like, hey, we're gonna give you any fucking option you want, goddammit. If you willing to pay for it. Unless some way they can't make money off Yeah, if you're willing to pay us for it, then you can have it. <laughs> Absolutely. I just maybe, because I, I still ain't forgot about the cereal. And I guess I'm all for that for real. Yeah, nah, I ain't forgot about this shit either. See? And the I'm milk all for that though. The give, milk? Us a, give us our options, shit. The milk too wasn't that number of mucus, ain't it? I don't know. I don't believe that. I've, I've heard that shit, but I don't know if I. But I don't know how the body make milk. Hell, it could be nothing but mucus. Hell, how a cow's body makes milk. I imagine all mammals' bodies make the milk the same way. Hell, I don't, all mammals don't got four stomachs. No, they don't got four stomachs. <laughs> got <them. laughs> They don't got four stomachs. And they ain't eating the same diet either. But no, it's, it's still the, I guess the same, I don't know how the fuck milk is made in the body, God damn it. Yeah, it's probably I mean, go part through of the same you, organs or whatever, hell. Part of what you, what, what's being intaken is going to be part of what, how the quality yeah, of the it, milk or whatever. It could be milk or whatever, but shit, milk ain't never harmed me before, as far as I know. I'm, this bitch, God damn it. I mean, you maybe now that know. I got older, I can't drink it because it'll make me shit now. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, shit. Oh, it never did nothing to you. <laughs> other than that, clog I'm good. Right shit. No, I ain't no clog up, goddamn. Oh, damn, that's worse. <laughs> I ain't no oh, clog. We coming out of here. Goddamn video shoot over here. Man, you already know. Puff Daddy, smoke in the background. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> yeah. Shit. Take that. Yeah, fire, man. Fire, fire, fire. Shit. I fucked this uh -huh. little blunt up, but I ain't going to give up on this bitch, though. Now, you sit there so, and try out, bitch. Do you, guys, uh, do you guys dream often, and do you remember your dreams? I don't ever remember no dream. Never. Yeah, I have, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I have. I, I heard that uh, smoking weed... That's what I heard, remember. too. And I go to sleep high every night, so... Yeah. So you won't remember your dreams, have Probably you? not. So. I heard stop stop smoking weed. Will I know when I stopped a while back? Um, that what they say? You have a uh, very vivid or lucid dream. Yeah, they say it get yeah. wild when you stop yeah. smoking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, in Japan, they developed a a way to 
watch your dreams like a video playback. Okay, then. I figured this shit was coming so, sooner or later. If you just want like, put it on DVR, I guess. Or, I, I figured it was coming. Put it on the cloud. You got server somewhere. I don't want it on the cloud. Give me, give me my shit on the disc. <laughs> yeah. I don't What'd you go play the disc? I, I got a DVD player. Uh, I'm sure you do. I'm so sure you do. Is it, is it like an actual picture? Or is it like waveforms? Or well, tell you what it is? It I says mean, that it that it should be able to basically catch any flashes of anything that change what they can sense during your dreaming to be able to tell when this should be some type of picture. And then they're going to take it steps further to be able to develop it into the actual picture, hopefully. Gotcha. So that they can really actually watch the video. So they, they ain't got this shit to work They don't yet. got it to work yet. Well, of course not. <laughs> I know it's coming, though. It sounds like some shit that's coming. I want my shit on the disc. That'd though. be fire, though. Because I don't know what the fuck I be dreaming about. <laughs> mm. I don't want this shit on the cloud. <laughs> I don't know if I want to try to keep up with discs. You know, I don't want all of them. That. I'm not going like all the time. Go, what oh, you mean going? I feel like you gonna to have to go. No, you gotta go somewhere to do this shit. No, nah, you gonna have a machine. Oh, this gonna be a home yeah. machine. Yeah. Oh, okay. Go see we, we get you a drink recorder. No, nah, I don't think we gonna see that. Yeah, <laughs> you probably gonna have on to the go the app COVID testing there. You gonna have to go Dream Station. You can go and get you a dream. Recorder. Dream station. That is, you're going to have to go there and have a membership. Like a gym? Yeah, yeah. Damn. It's a bunch nah, of the that's some bullshit. Yeah. That's dream some machine going to be a fucking $100 million. No. You can't put one in your house? No, yeah, you can. I don't know about that. By the time they get it right. Apple might do it. By the time they get it right. They got to figure out a way so everybody could use it. That's the only reason they don't let us have shit. That's they ain't figured out a way. Certain to, people can use it now. Yeah, only, they ain't figured out a way to make sure that everybody can use it. And they can make money off of it. Otherwise, we'd have it. They're they going to make the money. It's coming to CBS near you. I don't know about Walgreens. CBS. You feel like you're going to be able to get a dream machine for forty nine ninety five? dollars mm-hmm. Shit. Record I'm a, your dream. I, maybe. I got a drone for like $6. Yeah, you can get a drone. Not a dream machine. That's different. Think about when drones first came out. Yeah. Just like yeah. computers. You think about the first computer, supercomputer, motherfucker was bigger than this room. Yeah, sooner or later you're gonna be able oh, to have that bitch. But saying. when it first come out, when, nah, when they first get be able to use that motherfucker, that bitch yeah, is nah, not gonna, gonna be good. able to put in your house. Well, it it's depends gonna be on like a it, computer. It like any if that bitch gonna be here for sixty wars years. Happen between now and then. Oh, okay. That's and what it's gonna slow down. No, because whoever get to have the gold for the microchips. Okay then. They okay need then. Microchips for the dreams. Thought, okay then. So, if so we war, gotta we gotta make sure we stay a superpower. Yeah. In order for everybody to have one. For it to come house. to a CVS near you. Okay then. As All long right. as we. All right. <laughs> but if China buck for real. Yeah, then we might not. You might okay. not be All able. Right. To, you probably sense. could like only go to. Uh, now, pure, if they're gonna sh- turn it to a weapon then. Oh. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be that anyway. Yeah, they just gonna be able, now you gonna be able to go to sleep and, and fucking fight them in their dreams. No, that's the new torture device. <laughs> it's gonna sleep creep up all the motherfucking dreams. It's not gonna whatever the new bay. It ain't gonna be Guantanamo Bay. Cool. It's gonna be another bay where they do the dreams at they Dream finna Dream make Machine Freddy Bay. Cougar. Oh, they finna fucking make Freddy Cougar. Or the Sandman. That's that's what's finna happen. I guess. Oh shit! Oh, what, oh, what if you go to sleep and never wake up? Never wake up. You, you stuck in the dream forever, <laughs> and this shit just playing on the TV. <laughs> that's fucked up. It's a oh, live you, stream. But you go. Oh, maybe that's a little more. Freddy Cougar coming. I don't want but the you, machine no more. You could record somebody while they dying, and you could like see they last whatever. You could probably yeah, yeah. maybe that'd if, be cool. If no. they work like a dream, maybe they don't come from the same place though. Maybe not. Maybe you're really you really conscious. Cool. Yeah, you really conscious where you're dying until you dead. Yeah, you know, some people die in their sleep. They too. But yeah, you made it dark and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't that be cool. I, I'd like to see that video. Man, okay. He died in his sleep. You got a video of it? Run that shit. Run that shit. Oh, okay. about the popcorn. <laughs> Pop some popcorn. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. We're Mike Tyson like said, "Dying's got to be beautiful." <laughs> really? That's what Mike Tyson said. Right, how do you say it? Like Tracy Morgan? Beautiful. <laughs> it's, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, I guess. What we guessing? 
I guess it's about that time. Let me see. How the fuck you know every time? I had a feeling. I That's, was trying to pull it up and see if it was. All right, all right. Um, yeah, it's that time. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this is the time for us, the smokers, us three, the best advice givers to ever give advice in the history of advice, bring you the best advice you could ever hope to even come close to for real. I'm hoping you're thankful. We're grateful for you listening. Word. Everybody needs some advice sometimes. Why not Everybody. get it from the best advice givers to ever give advice? It's the history of advice. That's us. But we can't just give advice to everybody all the time. So what not we do is we go find some shit on Reddit. Somebody who really needs some some help. And we bring them my advice. Because like I said twice before, we're the best advice givers to ever give advice since the history of advice. After we read the shit on Reddit, we was like, you know what? We just read some shit off Reddit. And then we was like, we probably going to call this part Reddit on Reddit. It makes perfect fucking sense. I agree. Reddit Are you ready? Reddit. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Reddit on Reddit number one. Number one. Number one. Should I <laughs> then? See if my blood um, ready yet. Let's see. When did you realize you've grown apart from very old friends, and how did you cope with the loss? Hmm. I'm gonna let y'all go first on this one. Is that the whole thing, or is this just yeah, the title? Yeah, the whole thing. Hmm. I think I might let y'all go first on this one, because my opinion on this shit don't be a popular opinion most of the time. Hmm. What was the statement again? When did you grow, realize you've grown apart from very old friends, and how did you cope with the loss? I don't know if the win. I don't know how that worked, but yeah. How did you cope with the loss, maybe? Uh, I don't even know if cope is the right word for me. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, um, yeah. I, did, I didn't have a problem. It's more like when you, when you come out of high school a lot. I don't know. Yeah, when life changes and you move on it's just yeah, part of what happens on this part of it's um, part of moving on the hell yeah. and when you're when you're not around something or someone it's a lot easier i think to dismiss it from something that you'd be worried about or thinking about anyway it's not really something that you're coping with especially if you live for a while like you realize how many things aren't really that deep or that important or mean that much to you for real or supposed to be here forever for real. Yeah. Like, even some shit, it might mean a whole lot of shit to you. It could be real deep and important, but it ain't it ain't supposed to be in your life for your entire life for real. Yeah. You take what you can from the experiences you had and, yeah, move on to make more experiences. Shit. Yeah. But, yeah, fuck coping. Like, I, just, I broke up. I guess broke up. I don't know if this, you break up with Probably. your friends, goddamn it. Yeah, absolutely. You Hell? can. Yeah, you can let them go. Sever ties. You can ghost. What? Well, what about death, though? Well, there's some shit you got to cope with for real. Yeah. There's some shit maybe. You... Yeah, about the only thing I can yeah, think of yeah, coping. But... When they die after you're not friends no more. Yeah, that can that can still be tough too. I think. See, yeah, it depends on the connection though, and, and why why y'all not friends no more too though. Yeah, I got a fucked up mentality about this shit for real. Cause I done broke up with some friends that I've been friends with for a long time. You do some stupid shit that I feel like is just stupid enough. Like, yeah, I ain't got to be around you no more. Like, fuck you forever for real. And if it means, like, everybody's got to die for real, that don't mean, oh, I'm sad now that he did. I mean, I'm, I might be sad you're dead, but it ain't, oh, I should have been made up with him and shit, and I'm, I'm fucked up about it forever because we ain't get back together and do this shit. Like, yeah, nah, I wasn't fucking with him no more, God damn it. Shit, we had our time together. That shit came to an end and motherfucker died. Like, everybody's going to do shit. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. I, I'm fucked up about it, though, because I'll be quick to goddamn. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't like the way you did that shit. If we can't fucking work it out, fuck you for the rest of your life. <laughs> for real. <laughs> if I know you since I was three, yeah. I think that's if you make closure with that, it's okay. But it's when you don't make closure, not at peace with it yourself. Maybe yeah. that might be kind of tough to to cope with. Yeah, you know, maybe. But yeah, but yeah, I mean, friends go. You know, they come and go. So I ain't a man. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. The way shit is. That's the best advice. Yeah, like, you, you have experiences with motherfuckers. Sometimes you had them experiences for the rest of your life. And you'll also you don't. be, during these times, whether you're alone or not, you still end up having new experiences. Yeah, you always and gonna have new experiences whether have it's with that person that or not. something that fills that time and space yeah. in some sort of way. Yeah. You just gotta recognize what that is instead of dwelling on what it isn't. What it used to be, yeah. Just Which, just you know, it's easier said than done for a lot of people. Everybody's not Kato. So, it, yeah, you know, no, but everybody shit. Everybody ain't reverend. I mean, I it is what not, it is. He's, so, you know. It ain't never been hard, but I I grew up rocking for real, so yeah, yeah. I ain't never had no problem, goddamn. Like, yeah, I never see that person again. <laughs> well, I, I don't think it's a bad it's thing. What it though. is? I don't think it's a bad. I don't thing, think though. it's a bad thing either uh, for you. Being it's, able to, to cut out things that ain't good for you—that's what you're supposed to do. That you feel ain't good for yeah. you. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people die from stressing for real, from shit they they shouldn't be stressing over for real. I don't stress over shit. I'm a, it is what it is and continue to move forward, goddamn. All right. That's all I'm motherfucking Let's go do. On to the next Reddit. I don't you didn't do great this time with the Reddit, Kato. I'm not gonna lie. He needed some advice though, hell. Nah, he was, I'm talking he, about he, the he ones you said about his friends, hell. Yeah, he'll be all right. Yeah, he, he don't got him anymore. He can't be a, Yeah, man, he don't got him no more. more. Move on. Find right. some more friends. Or maybe don't. Shit. Experience yourself. Thanks. Y'all ready? Ready for it. Yeah. Reddit on Reddit number two. Number two. Number two. Okay. People out there who ended a relationship with someone they loved but could not see a future with. How do you feel after? Do you regret it? I guess it's almost something like, yeah, that's close to the yeah, same. Right, right back at it. But not, it's different it's though. Different, a relationship, we, yeah. Yeah. I guess... I just, I, it made one same, person come same, to mind. Same, same. I had a, a girlfriend when I was doing shit I shouldn't have been doing. Mm. And she was in college. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes things you shouldn't be doing happen to be part of what you're doing. Yeah. And you know. And that. she was in college doing a lot of shit she should have been doing. Okay. All right. And you so, you know, opposites track and a lot of times the girl like the bad boy and shit. But we, mm-hmm. we was together and shit. And after a while, she started doing shit she shouldn't be doing skipping uh, shit she should be doing like say hypothetically this ain't happened to me but a <laughs> motherfucker supposed to be at school and instead they skipping school and they fucking making sales and shit cause you're not at home to make sales and shit now you a drug dealer and you skipping your fucking classes yeah. like yeah you you headed in the wrong direction okay. and I'm I'm not finna stop doing the shit I'm doing but you stopping doing the shit you're doing to do it. So I feel like the only way to keep you on path to do the shit you're doing is for get you the fuck from around me. <laughs> no? So, yeah, it's a motherfucker like, yeah. No, nah, you could just tell them, no, nah, don't do that and keep but doing that what you're doing. But they attract this. I feel like that's part of the attraction to why they around for real. They attracted to their lifestyle for real. Yeah, but they don't have to participate in it for yeah, y'all to you, be together and still. Keep but it's it. it's still gonna it's gonna always be a distraction. I felt like for real, because you, you had a conversation like this ain't what the fuck you yeah y'all you ain't doing this shit. But still, the motherfucker end up like motherfucker ain't making sales on purpose. It's just like oh you you ain't at home and like motherfucking in college you like oh shit she at home to me are you a goddamn yeah now you the, so for you know I, it, how you did you face. feel about. So you you told her, all right, this ain't gonna work. Yeah, we gotta break yeah. up because you you and doing. How did you feel about that afterwards? I mean, it sucks for real, but then in the long run, you you feel better about the shit if it's the right decision for real. Okay, so no regret from it. I don't never had no regrets. Okay, my yeah, bad. No, no, no. From that situation, I'm just saying, no, ain't no point in no regrets. You did this shit, now, God damn it. Yeah, there are points in regrets. Ain't no point in this shit. Regret okay. just mean you feel bad for the shit you done. Yeah, fuck this. I mean, you, mm-hmm. you, the shit's done now. Move forward. Okay, so don't have no feeling about something you did that you don't like? No regrets, no. What feeling no do you have about something that I wish that I wouldn't like. have done this shit, and I'm going to keep wishing I wouldn't have done this shit for the next six months. No, nah, but what, yeah, nah, if, if you do something that you don't like, and you be like, what, then what do you refer to it as? What you mean? You did this shit. Damn, fucked up. All right. What's next? 
So you just call it a fuck up? You're not dwelling on this shit. Well, you regretting this shit. Like, you you regret this shit. Like, you dwelling on this shit for real. Like, Is you, that what that means? I think so. Yeah. Uh. I think so. That's what I think I about when I think about that regret. Don't, that you don't like or yeah, didn't no, I don't care think, for. I think about it. Like, when I think about regret, it feel like something that you like, yeah, damn. I remember way back then I did I fuck this damn. Still shouldn't have did that shit, goddamn. I should have signed that motherfucking contract. Life would have been so different now if I had signed that motherfucking contract. Fuck this shit. You ain't signed this shit. Now you smoke dope. Don't regret this shit. Hell, this what you're supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I've subscribed to that, but okay, I hear yeah, you. Though. No regrets. I fuck hear this you. shit. All right, fine. Move forward. That shit was yesterday. All right, word. Shit don't matter today. Word. No regrets. That's hey, best advice I can give you. You can dwell on this shit if you want to dwell on this shit. Alexa, what's the definition of regret? Now I'm curious. The word regret has two meanings. As a verb, it means to feel remorse or sadness for a fault or disappointment. As a noun, yeah, no. it means a sense of loss, disappointment, or dissatisfaction. Yeah, nah, fuck this shit. Yeah. Fuck this yeah, shit. No. It don't mean like you just dwelling on shit forever. Ain't no sense of loss here yeah, now. My phone died. Fuck some remorse. My my tablet um, died. I got a question real quick. Everything ran this bitch dead. Cause since, a Bob's since, that question? Real quick. We I'm just wondering. These bitches in a minute. <laughs> Don't try to just ease on by Bob's that question, nigga. Um, <laughs> are you shooting up your car if someone steals it? No. No. Nah, I would say no, too. You know why? Like, fuck the car. You going to prison, guy, man. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can't just shoot at your car as it's driving off because somebody could, they stole could have it. A gun. If they got a gun out, I'm assuming it's like a car jacking. Like you, you know, <coughs> like you came out the store or something. Like, nah, nigga, you ain't getting in the car today, but you had yours on you too. Oh yeah, no, shoot at this bitch. Insurance finna pay for all that shit. So you shoot up shoot your car. Shoot at this like, bitch. <laughs> and the whole thing. I need a new one. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing. I'm going to open the right, door mind, and that's get the extra right. clip out the door and close the door. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, where you pull off? Wait, Hold on, where you pull off? Hold on, where you pull off? You got the gas your tank in. Go. Shoot the gas tank. <laughs> you ready? Wait, <laughs> Shit, let me see the back of your gun. You ain't got a switch on that bitch, too. Man. You got a switch. Cause I, had, I don't remember what the fuck I saw, but I sure thought to myself, like, I'll oh, fuck that. I'm shooting it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck that car. It's and then I felt like as ignorant as fuck. I shouldn't. Shit. shit. But I still feel like I was shooting shit. that shit up. God. Yeah, well, I mean, That's but it, yeah, if you put the gun on me, circumstance is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, if yeah if I'm I, assuming. You know, if just somebody just jump in the car and pull off. Yeah, if they just drive uh, it off I, in the car, I'm not shooting at that bitch. Because you, I mean, fuck the car, you going to prison now. What if you just hit a tire? You going One to shot. jail at One least. Tire. That's you, If you shoot it's that attempted. gun, yeah. if you shoot that bitch, you going to jail. You talking about just in Alabama? No, I'm talking about pretty much anywhere in the country, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're all going to share, God damn it. <laughs> you going to jail. Take that. Take that. Man, okay. <laughs> <laughs> or if you did it, you got shy with you. <laughs> hey, hold this real quick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, you Dang. can't just shoot at that motherfucker because he stole your shit. You out of that motherfucker now. <laughs> I don't think that's fair. I mean, it's not. I feel like when you was growing up, they made you to believe like, yeah, no. Still in your car, you can shoot that bitch for real. I don't know where if I got If he in your room. yard, you can shoot that bitch. Like you can't do that for real. You going to fucking prison? That's murder. Now, now if they drive the car at you. Oh, shoot the different. shit out of! Them. I you thought they was headed this way. No, you thought you they was going to turn around and do the windshield. <laughs> I think, the I think windshield. Thought they was going to turn around and come back and uh, get me. Okay, so I was... yeah, all right. <laughs> they gonna come around, turn around, back. Come out and come to get you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Hang tight, buddy. <laughs> Hang it. Step into the back of this van. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they coming to get you. <laughs> I think the law is something like the action given has to be equal to the. Action, you, you give it take, back I or think something. you can take one step above <laughs> for real. Can you? I think in, in the fucking stand your ground states. Yeah. I think you can take one step above. Like if you got a stick, 
I could have a, a bigger weapon. Oh, than what your determines stick. what's bigger though? Gee, was if you got a weapon. What if I got I, a big ass machete? If you, you got, got a no weapon, pistol. I can have a gun. So pretty much. Yeah. If it's if it's more than one of y'all, I can have a gun. If you know karate and I know you know karate, you trying to fight me, I can have a gun. If you bigger than me for real, for real, I can have a gun. Yeah. You see it. Since you can't never use it. No, I'm playing. <laughs> All right. The force, is, force has to be equal, though, so you have to feel threatened the same. You know what I mean? Yeah, you got to like, yeah, feel yeah, like yeah. these. Yeah, you yeah, that's where the lawyers come in. So you yeah. can, they can describe how to explain. Equals that, yeah. yeah a motherfucker got to take threatened, threatened actions towards you, for real. Yeah. And you got to, most, it's most like if you, a motherfucker bigger than you, and they finna, like, you finna fuck this dude up. If motherfucker pull out a gun, that ain't really legal yet for real though. But you gotta <laughs> leave that for real. Like if dude come at you again, why you got this gun out? You can shoot that motherfucker for real. Like he gotta leave that. You gave him warning. Like look, I got yep. this gun. If you keep fucking with me, I'll shoot you. Goddamn it. Pow pow. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Pow pow, nigga. But if a motherfucker just run up to you and boom and punch you and you pull out a pistol, then pow. You going to jail now, God damn it. Yeah. You got yeah, to eat the punch. Yeah, you got to give a motherfucker <laughs> a chance to get the fuck away from you for real if they got a, if you got a pistol. And then he's going to go get his gun and shoot you for you. Then he's going to shoot the shit out you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so just say, so yeah. You're going to die and go to jail. I don't know. Just lay down after you. <laughs> but yeah, don't, stay there after he knock you out. Don't shoot if he just stole your car. Right. <laughs> don't do it. All right, I was just wondering. Don't do it. Just popped in my head the other day. yeah. He was worried about somebody stealing your car. Like, yeah, yeah, I think, nah, actually, I, think I wrote that down before this. Before <laughs> okay. I got this car. I it's, got a it's new been, car too. I got a like, few yeah, nah, I'm going to shoot that bitch. Fuck that. <laughs> I bet mean, you've been practicing. <laughs> <laughs> if I only shoot through the, my car. the passenger windows, nah. I ain't got to replace the big ones. <laughs> And I hope I wouldn't have to shoot that car. Well, okay. Damn. Shoot the tent out. Think about that. Shit. <laughs> that tent look like it's going to stop the bullet. Yeah, that shit going to stop the bullet. <laughs> that shit bulletproof. <laughs> that motherfucker got seven layers of tent on that bitch. He got that BP print. He got that BP tent. Man, wait. Yeah. Um, that shit look like the screen turned off on your windows. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker turned the windows <laughs> off. God damn it. The front one turned off too. Shit. Man. Shit, I know look, it. I was on it like this. My kids was in the, in the driver's seat like a fake doing car. shit to the window. And Man, I could not boy. see them. Shit don't even look real. Is um, that it, ladies and gentlemen? I guess it ain't nothing gentlemen in here, God damn it. Uh, but it might be some ladies out there. Appreciate you joining us. 256-788-7339. Ask the smokers at gmail.com. Email Google us. the Smoking Permitted Podcast. Google Subscribe, us. comment, like, share. All that shit. All that shit. Notification that shit. button. Damn. Um, You know what I'm saying? Holler at us, goddamn. Uh, don't forget. You been that. Turn your shirt inside out. Turn your pockets out. Hey, what's the dude name that won the shit, man? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do a video hey, we for that. we found a winner. Five motherfucking yeah. studio time with Volano <laughs> giveaway. Um, We did. It's too late. We asked y'all to enter. Y'all ain't enter. Now y'all gonna be mad. Like, these niggas ain't never gave us shit. But we gave it to we one motherfucker. To. Yeah. Congratulations, we'll sir. To, you know and, who you and are. One that won. <laughs> right. Um, Fuck with us next time, ladies and gentlemen. Smoke uh, the podcast. Android is not a type of phone. Oh, we do this shit not though. Sweet. It ain't, it um, ain't. Don't forget, if you know all the lyrics to Gucci Mane songs, because all she did was ride around with dope boys. I keep forgetting uh, this boy. Kings, all you need to do is get some chicken and let her take a nap on your couch. She gonna be good to go. I don't know. Um, you that it's a different life that you don't. Um, that's why you don't know. Just I guess let it be I don't. You're you right. don't. I you, don't understand. You don't listen to Brent Fire. Like can't it's sleep a whole on different. Now couch. you take a nap. You see, you got to Don't she you got to don't, don't go to sleep. All right, yeah, don't go to sleep your couch here. ain't the nap couch. You I'm don't got to worry I'm about spray it. That bitch like a you know, you know who I'm talking to because there's only certain ones that know who I'm talking to. You should know with the way that you end your shit. I'm gonna spray this bitch like a cat. Goddamn, you should know with the way you end your shit. Come on, let's go. Wake up. Oh shit. Um. I do got something on that I have yeah. forgot. You put me on the spot. I was just It's only one of them that matter. Like a cat. Um, smoke a blunt with your mama. Smoke a blunt with It'll your mama. It'll change your life. Um, your favorite drug dealer? I feel like he probably the calculations suggest it's going to be about 80%, 83% of 
of your favorite drug dealers is on disability. Hmm. They get a check in the mail every month from the government. Uncle hmm. Sam is supplying their real money. So when and the they motherfucker be tell on. you they ain't got it, they lying to you because the yeah. check coming. The motherfucker, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I went off um, somewhere else. Yeah. If we be in public, where else? If if we be not in public, uh -huh. that, this private ain't it. That's private. I ain't even going to be in private with the bitch. When we be in public, if you be with your bitch, mm -hmm. if you not with your bitch, mm -hmm. if your bitch with her friends. Say something. If your bitch with her mama. Tell them about if it. If your bitch come outside to walk her dog and I'm going to take my mail, tell Ooh. your bitch tell to bitch. quit fucking smiling at me. Tell her stop it. I don't, no, bitch. I don't want to know your name, bitch. I don't know. It's Fuck unnecessary. all that, bitch. It's a, don't I smile didn't even mean me, to bitch. look in your direction. It was just something was moving. Fuck you smiling don't smile at me. Don't smile at me. Stop it. Um, if you ever in a situation uh -huh. and you be like, man, I feel like these motherfuckers playing with me. I don't really know what to do. I I feel played in a bitch right now. What you finna do? I'm finna air this motherfucker out. Air this bitch out. Air time. Go home and then think about what you did. You're going to jail, but still, you got them got your yeah, point Yeah, go home across. and pack. <laughs> or put put on the white air undies just in case. At. Put on air two time. pairs of white undies, two bow, white bow, bow. socks. Get you a couple white undershirts, put all the whites yeah, on. Yeah, this bitch at. After, the, like, when you go home, put all your whites on, because you know just in case you get caught, you and know what's next. And tell the niggas in there. You don't like, want to yeah, wear the nah, orange underwear. bitches were playing with me, so I, I heard this, this bitch, bitch at. I got to go to court Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> and tell the judge <laughs> when you get in the there. <laughs> judge, your honor, I know what I did was wrong. I fucked up. But them bitches played with me. And if you was me, you would have urged that bitch You would have urged out. this bitch out, too. <laughs> I know you got that thing under your roll ready to air this bitch out right now, guys. Shit, all right. All right. I'll white Mike. What yeah, you sir. got for him? Give him some knowledge. Yeah, yeah. Uh we're gonna we're gonna give that shout out to Chris Garner. 